hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three, I don't know why I do that. Hello, okay, everything seems to be working, I'm hoping. I'm just gonna grab my controller. Oh, okay, mildly concerned because during the stream starting soon screen, my Wi-Fi had a little hiccup and I lost a bunch of frames. And that that's concerning, so really hoping that doesn't happen again. Um, because <laughs> that would suck. If my stream crashes at any point, then you should assume that's the reason why. Um, so hoping my internet holds out. Um, it was fine yesterday. Um, but we'll see. Maybe it was just a one-time blip, I'm hoping. Anywho, let me just test out my thing. Yep. Yep, we are all good in the hood. Okay. Alright. It is time for the finale of this little trilogy of streams I'm doing this weekend for some reason. So I, I did a I did a stream on Friday and then a, another one yesterday and now I'm doing another one today. So that's three streams, three days in a row, which I've never done before. I honestly don't even know why I'm doing this. Uh, I didn't plan for it. I, I, I didn't think this week I'm going to do three streams instead of just two. Uh, that was not something I planned ahead of time. I just sort of felt like it. So <laughs> anyway, uh, continuing with Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, um, which should be fun because we're nearing the end of Sora's story. My goal is to maybe finish Sora's story today. I don't know how likely that is. Also, I just realized my fan's on. I should turn that off. There we go. <laughs> Knew I was forgetting something. I'll turn it on again if I get too warm. But anyway, I'm ready. Let's get into this. So, I was actually all ready to start my stream at 6 o'clock on the dot. It is currently 6.45. Uh, and I was actually ready to start it at 6, because 6 is like the usual time where I'd like to start. Um, but, um... Um, oh, hello everyone. I'm finally at work, my Wi-Fi is a bit slow today. Yeah, my internet's been a bit weird as well. If Again, if my stream crashes at any point, you should assume it's because my internet's being weird. But I've done two streams already today, so if this stream crashes, then I'm, I, 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 I can live with that. Anyway... Um... I was a little bit... <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, so while I was saying, I was ready to start the stream at 6, it is currently 6.45, but the reason I I, do, I I like pushed it back by like a half hour is because I didn't realise that the Xbox and Bethesda sh game showcase was happening like right now. Right at the exact time that I planned to start my stream, they started theirs, and I was like, no one's gonna watch my dinky little Kingdom Hearts stream if there's a Xbox Bethesda showcase happening that's supposed to last about an hour. Um, but maybe, yeah, I'm probably overthinking that. And who actually cares, right? But, you know, that's what I thought. I also kind of wanted to watch it for a bit to see if anything interesting popped up. I'm not like an Xbox fan, really, but uh, you never know. So I, I decided to watch it for about half hour before I started my own stream. Uh, nothing really caught my eye so far except for Hollow Knight Silk Song. Got a new trailer, so that's neat. Um... I'll watch the rest of it later, but I, I got my own stream to do. I got some Kingdom Hearts to play, you know? That's what's important. Anyway, in the last Kingdom Hearts stream, we went through... What was it? We went through Hollow Bastion? No, we didn't. We went through Twilight Town, I know that. I think it was Hollow Bastion and Twilight Town. And then Sora yelled at Donald and Goofy for being freaking weenies and then he ran off on his own so now we're we're we have minus one duck and minus one dog on our side so that's sad so we're on our own now but we're about to go to destiny islands so that's fun but how are you yoshito hello also uh mochi halo followed since the last stream and you're also in the chat right now hello welcome thank you very much for following that is very kind of you um Almost up to the 250 on the follow account. That's exciting. That's a milestone, I'd say, for me. 
I don't care about Xbox. I don't care about Xbox much, but I'm thinking about getting an Xbox Series S soon. Um, for just like the small handful of Xbox games that I do care about. Um, and they don't, and it co doesn't cost too much. The S, I mean, the like smaller version. Um, so I thought I'd maybe look into it just in case. Anyway, let's move on to Destiny Islands. Woohoo. So yes, this is the third of a trilogy of live streams I'm doing this weekend. The 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 thrilling conclusion. And they're all different games too. I did not intend on streaming three times this week. Three times in a row. All three streams have been for different games as well. Like on Friday we had Cuphead, yesterday we had Resident Evil, and today we've got Kingdom Hearts. What a mixed bag of games we have. You can't say I don't give y'all variety. Although most of my streams are Kingdom Hearts, to be fair. Uh, here it goes again, my Wi-Fi is acting a bit slow. Oh, that's okay. Maybe you could try audio mode, just audio mode. That might help. If, if you can't watch, maybe audio mode would work. I don't know, just a suggestion. I'm home and over, had six hours of sleep, but I'm good. Jeez. Hope you, hope you feel a bit better. <laughs> yeah, you've had a quite an active weekend as far as I can tell. So I hope you can relax a bit. Mm. I'm not going crazy, am I? I know exactly where this is. Whoa, animation. Yeah, this is our island. Where Namine and I used to play together. Hey! Oh yes, the B, char the B class characters. What's up, Sora? So, what you want to do today? Hey guys. Am I glad to see you, uh... Uh, what? We got food in our faces? Please walk it. Only you could be dumb enough to not notice food stuck to your face. That's a bit rude. Hey, whoa, that's a low blow, yeah? <laughs> I don't know, Waka. I think selfie's on the mark. Oh, not you too, Titus. Oh yeah, you're selfie, Waka, and Titus. That's who you are. You hit your head? No, uh, just thinking aloud. I know, you're thinking about her again. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he's a total zombie when she's on his mind. That would explain why he's acting all funny towards us. I bet you want us to take a hike so you can be alone, huh? Um, I guess. Alright, alright. We'll disappear for a while. Go find her, cowboy. We'll try to be quiet while we spy on you. Hey, Sora's serious. Give the guy some room. I'm only kidding. This is the most dialogue these three characters have ever had in this series. <laughs> See you later, Sora. And it's not even voiced. Uh, if you can't say my username right, you can just call me Halo. Sure, no problem. Did I say your name wrong? I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. <laughs> Ew, my water tastes weird. Hmm, did I accidentally put a bit of soap in my water? I might have, like, accidentally got, like, a drop of soap in my water when I was washing my hands. Alright, I guess I'm consuming soapy water today. Okay. That's true, you're an official variety streamer, yes. Variety. Oh my god, I forgot how to play. Marco's comment is what I ask myself when I meet someone new. <laughs> Which comment? Waka says a lot of things. Oh god, the flowers are back. Freaking flowy. Why are flowers in games giving me so much trouble lately? It was the flowers in Cuphead at first. So I'm really determined to beat Sora's story today, but I don't know how likely that is, because Castle Oblivion, I forgot how freaking long that is. <laughs> I even have to break it up with a mid-boss fight against Axel, because it's so long. Um, so I'd like to do it, but I don't know <laughs> how likely that is. Riku's Castle Oblivion is tiny, which is actually quite nice. I need water. Do I have any food on my face? Yeah, that's what I thought you meant, but I wanted to be sure. I used up all my cards. Bonk.
Oh crap. There we go. Oh. <laughs> no you didn't, don't worry, I was just saying so you wouldn't feel bad. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> so yeah, the Xbox showcase is happening now and I completely forgot that it was happening, so... I was kind of like prepared to maybe just be by myself for this entire stream because everyone might be a bit preoccupied with that. I think Tiago's interested in that, so he might be uh, AFK for the stream, I don't know. There was this Hollow Knight trailer, so you know, but you can't say they don't have something. I'm probably going to watch the rest of the showcase later, just in case something pops up. I don't think so though, if something Banjo-Kazooie related pops up, then I'll be interested, because I've been wanting to try out those games for a long time. That's part of the reason why I want a Series S, so I can give those games a go. And... Um... Yeah, various other things. <laughs> also, if something Spyro or Crash related shows up, then that would be nice too. Oh, was it me or did the stream crash? Oh, it's me, silly phone. Okay, you gave me a mild heart attack because my internet was having issues before the stream started, so if the stream crashed, then I'd be very sad. But if my stream crashed, I get a little boom on my laptop that would say, hey, OBS is crashing. So I'm fine. But again, if the stream does crash, you should assume it's because of my internet. I'll try and reconnect as soon as if that does happen. My rule is, if, if my stream crashes once, in, like in the middle of a stream, then that's fine. If it happens like two or three times, then I'm probably just gonna give up and s stream a different day. <laughs> it doesn't happen too often though. Just sometimes. It reminds me, one, one time I was doing a Pokemon stream, and my stream crashed like five or six times. Like, 20 minutes apart from each other, it would just crash. And it would be very, very sad. Although I'm not implying that stream crashing is something that happens often here. It doesn't really. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this Thunder Raid to hit as many as possible. Nope, I missed. my rupees. I don't have Wi-Fi, my sister's asleep to ask her for it. Oh. That was a DT at full. Oh. Hey! Oh crap, I'm dying! I wonder if I should add another kill card to my deck. Gotta pick up the pace if I'm gonna get to that ending. Wait, is Destiny Islands even that long? No, it's not actually. Actually, there doesn't even seem to be that many story rooms. Like two? Huh. I think I already have the rewards card for this world, so that's nice. Grab this. For the Pokemon stream, it needed some... Sacrificial gifts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that stream specifically wanted to not work. I was very upset when it happened though. <laughs> I don't know if any of my Pokemon even died in that stream. Oh, Thunder Raid is so good! It just rips through them, it's great! Oh, that's a level up. Oh, these little Horn Heartless can heal. Gonna wanna take them out. Oh, whoops. Yeah. 
There we go, die. Freaking perish. <laughs> Just FYI, this level and up there are no more green map card drops. Really? So on this floor and, and also on the next floor, there are no more green map cards. Are you serious? If you need more, you'll have to go on levels 10 of like That's evil. I didn't know that. I guess I never noticed that before. I guess I must have noticed at one point that I just had a really suspiciously low amount of green cards, but I guess I never really... I guess that's the game's way of making things harder. Because the green cards are beneficial ones. Oh crap, I don't have that many at all, do I? I should probably save these for progression doors. It's the way, it's the game's way of forcing you to use different map cards and not using just the beneficial ones all the time. Clever game. Clever game. Do roulette rooms help with that? Can you still get green cards from roulette rooms or are they out as well? Uh, how is your day going so far? It's going quite well. I haven't done much today, but uh, uh, I slept in quite a bit today because I was tired. But um, other than that, I'm doing all right. Playing some Kingdom Hearts, so that's a good way to spend my day. <laughs> For me. That's how I like to spend my time. Not exclusively, just, you know, I play a lot of Kingdom Hearts, so... Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, Anubis, hello. How goes it? It goes well. I'm trying to beat Sora's story today, so I really need to pick up the pace if I'm going to get there. I think it's doable. Depends, I suppose. I might have to grind for map cards later, that's not going to be fun. Learned that the hard way? Yeah. I think uh, the last progression door requires like an absurd amount of map cards to open. And since the game doesn't give you green ones at a certain point, you're basically screwed if you don't have enough. So I might need to um, try and save them as much as I can. I've got a bunch of roulette rooms that I haven't used for that reason. Just saving them for a rainy day really. So if I need map cards, at least I can fall back on roulette rooms. I'll have to go back down to lower floors though, which is kind of sucky, but yeah. You know. Oh my god, could you stop breaking my cards? You know what, I'm good, just gonna... That's a weed whacker right there. Uh, but hi Anubis, how are you doing today? How is your day going? Sometimes coming up with titles for these streams is quite difficult. I don't really have a specific rule on what the titles of the stream should be. I usually try and make some dumb joke or pun, or try and say something cool for the title. Um, something usually trying to relate to what goes on in the stream, but it's hard for me to predict what will happen in the stream sometimes. Um, I had two choices for today's stream title, either defeating the Lord of the Castle, which is what I ended up going with, um, as a reference to the final boss, and how that's the name of the song that plays. Uh, very, very clever, I know. And the other one was to something along the lines of making a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, giving Marluxia a mind crush. But then I thought, are people going to appreciate a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? And is also, is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference in Chain of Memories a bit too obvious? I mean, I've been making a handful of them throughout this playthrough. Maybe I'm overthinking it, I probably am. Uh, nope, map roulette won't show any green cards. Awesome. Great. Love that. Want a bit of that. Okay. I won't use green cards for my entire stay at Destiny Islands because this world is so short that I probably won't need them. Uh, if anything, I should save my green map cards for Castle Oblivion when I'll probably need the extra power boost. I'll save them for the most part. If I'm in a pinch, I'll use them. Good to see you all again. It's good to see you again too. Thank you for joining me on the Resident Evil stream yesterday. That was fun. 
After I had gotten over the fact that I was overheating like crazy, I ended up enjoying that stream quite a lot, so... <laughs> Thanks for joining me for that, that was fun. I hope I can continue with Resident Evil soon and it won't take me another like seven months to get back to it again. Sorry for not saying hello earlier, alright, that's no problem Yoshito, I'm sure they don't mind. Make sure you drink water or anything you choose, it's important to stay hydrated. Yeah, I I've got water. It tastes a bit soapy today because... I'm not sure, I think I might have accidentally spilled a tiny, tiniest bit of soap into my water while I was washing my hands. <laughs> so, well, my I'm gonna taste very fresh though. Very, very clean water, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, going to do it all of you. I turned off my screen and then I came check out everybody. Uh, sorry if I misspelled anything. I'll turn off my stream so I can come and check on everybody. Oh, all right. Wow. Dedication. Oh yeah, how is Birth by Sleep going for you? I noticed you were playing it. Birth by Sleep. I'm excited to get to Birth by Sleep. I gotta get through Kingdom Hearts 2 first, and also Days. I forget that Days is before Birth by Sleep technically. If I'm going by release date order, I gotta go through Days first. I haven't played Days in years, and I've only beaten it once. I know the story well, because I've watched the movie a bunch of times, but... The game? Man, it's been ages. I'm quite excited, but... I remember getting really annoyed by it near the end, so we'll see how that goes. Struggle a lot in Castle Balloon for running out of green cards. Yeah, the, is it just me or the Neo Shadows incredibly annoying? <laughs> Neo Shadows specifically give me such a hard time in this game. It's a good thing you get Trinity Limit, which basically is a screen nuke that just annihilates everything. So I usually just sort of rely on that for the most part, but it doesn't always help every situation if it doesn't pop up. It's kind of sad that uh, this is the music, the battle music for Destiny Islands in this game. I understand why, but... It's, uh, it doesn't suit the very sunshiny, happy feel that this world has. Because this is the battle music that plays on Destiny Islands when the island's being invaded in Kingdom Hearts 1. But as of right now, it's fine, so the music kind of doesn't fit too well. I guess I just didn't want to give two battle themes for this world. Oh my god, my Wi-Fi! <laughs> Sorry about your Wi-Fi. Hope it holds out. Hope mine holds out. I seem to be fine. How's the sound, by the way? Is the sound... is the audio good? Is the, uh, is the audio... like, the volumes, I mean. Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? I set it to the same as the same volume settings that I usually have it for Kingdom Hearts streams, so it should be basically the same as always, but I'd like to be sure anyway. No harm in asking. Although I ask probably way too much. Ow. Bonk. Bonk. I should be using my strike raids more. So in the next room, I'm going to see if I have any Moogle points to spend. And then I'm going to see if I can buy some new cards. And see if I can uh, ramp up my deck a bit more. Gotta buy some booster packs. Uh, I might have to go soon because of my Wi-Fi. Oh, that's that's a shame, but um, I understand. No worries. Sorry about your Wi-Fi. Uh, put the well, the chat box on it right now. Fired up. Part three for nostalgia's sake. <laughs> Yeah, Neo Shadows are a tad annoying. Yeah, they do so much damage and they're so freaking quick. 
And the main thing with Neo Shadows is that the value of cards they use is so freaking high. They're using like eights and nines. Like it's absurd. So they'll probably break most of your cards. Fun. Uh, the music on GBA barely fits at all. We're coming quite audibly nice. Um, mix for your voice and music. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you to say. Uh, puts me at ease for sure. There's nothing worse than watching back one of my streams to like look for problems and stuff. To find that for a majority of the stream the game sound was way too high and you could barely hear me sometimes. That hasn't happened too many times because I like to go out of my way to make sure it doesn't. But uh, there have been a few, some of my earlier streams I, that happened. And it's endlessly frustrating because it's like, okay, the stream is basically like... Like 50% worse just because you couldn't hear me sometimes. <laughs> that's, that's why I ask about the audio all the time. I'm worried about the volume. Because I can't just go back and edit that. Okay, let's see. I'll use a sleep room. Oh, I was going to use a Moogle room. Whoops. Next one. Sounds perfect. Great. We uh, had her B-Day party yesterday, Baby Shark was in my dreams. Yeah, didn't- I saw something like that on Instagram. Uh, did you make a cake? I think you made a cake for that. Makes sense that, uh, that you do that. You have a knack for that kind of thing, I know. Um, I just realized that the, um, this world is probably going to be a bit tougher just because I have no friends. I have no friend cards. I have no... I have no friendship. No friendship. I have no Donald and Goofy to help me out today. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want to check my Moogle points. I got 800. That should be enough for a few card packs. Yeah. Isn't it weird that you don't get Moogle points from defeating enemies? Or do you? I don't think you do. Or at least you don't see them. You only seem to really ever get Moogle points from just destroying pieces of debris instead of defeating enemies. Yeah. Which is uh, against what JRPGs are usually like, where, you know, you kill a bunch of enemies and then lovely money comes out. So, kind of strange, actually. I never thought to th consider that. So many remakes my next season are Baby Shark. <laughs> really? Gotta get on that. Gotta look into that. <laughs> that should be like um a rock and roll cover. There probably is actually. Now that I think about it. That that very well could be a thing. Maybe a jazz cover. Jazz remix. Uh I'll have to leave the live stream and then join back again because of Wi-Fi. Sure. Hope, hope that works. Good luck. Maybe you could try resetting your Wi-Fi if you can. I don't know, I'm just throwing out ideas. Yeah, I made her a strawberry cake. It was horrendous? Aw. Oh, don't sell herself short. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's uh, better than you think. Better than anything I could probably do. Because I haven't baked in a long time. Whenever I would do cooking in school, uh, cooking and or baking in school, I would usually just stress out over getting it wrong. And then I would be, like, in detention forever, or something. Fun fact, I've only ever gotten detention once in my entire life. Uh, and I could have very easily have gotten out of detention if I had, like, explained myself. But, um, I was too scared to, so I did not. And I just did the detention anyway. And the detention was actually quite rewarding, because I got a lot of work done. So... It was basically no different from, like, staying behind after school to study. So it was actually quite a rewarding time for me, so... Uh, I gotta go because of Wi-Fi, have fun, sure. Um, sorry about your Wi-Fi, but take care, and, and it was nice to meet you. But, um, what else was I saying? Oh yes, cooking. In school. Yeah, I'd always stress out about it because I'd be worried that I'd get into trouble if I did it wrong. Even though, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have gotten into trouble for if I did the cooking wrong. Um, 
my teacher probably would have been fine with that. I, I for some reason just thought that I would freaking the world would end if I messed it up. Die, Dark Ball. There we go. Whew. But it tasted good? Yeah, as long as it tasted good, then I'm, I'm sure uh, there's no problem. That's the important thing. Ow. There we go. Uh, your sound comes in way better than mine, and I'm working with a PlayStation 4 and two cell phones. Really? You can... Hmm. I guess, yeah, I guess you can stream off PlayStation 4, can't you? I guess I forgot that was a thing you could do. Actually, I think there's like a live stream button on PS5. New recording, save recent gameplay. Broadcast, yeah, you can broadcast on PS5 just like right on the fly. I think you've got to connect your Twitch accounts to it. Uh, I've never streamed using that though. I've always just done it on OBS. They want you to grind, yeah. This game is very grindy sometimes. Two phones, how does that work? 50 cell phone go for monitoring messages. Oh, I see. I only ever use my phone to look at the chat when um, I can't see the chat on my screen. Like, um, if I'm doing a uh, if, if, if I can only use one monitor, and I need that monitor to watch something. Like when I react- when I was watching a Nintendo Direct on stream, it was the first time I had ever done that. Um, and I couldn't use two monitors because one of them was being taken up by gameplay. So I couldn't use that, and I had to watch the, the Direct. And stream at the same time, so I couldn't use one screen for both of those. So I was using one screen to watch it. So I couldn't use the scre same screen to look at the chat. I understand this might all sound a bit confusing. Um, so I had to use my phone to look at the chat, which was a bit awkward, but I figured it out. But you know, you, you got you, solutions, thinking on the fly. Okay, the first story room, here we go. Okay, I need a two. Uh, there's one here. And I need an eight. Uh, what cars do I not like? Um, I don't want to use a Moogle room. Marshall Waking's good though, and I don't want to use up any of my green cards. Oh, I'll use a Moogle room. And there we go. So I was supposed to close, but two cell phones? Oh. Hmm. The frosting on the cake kept melting? Didn't have a recipe to follow, only of memory of what I did at work. Glad the frosting was uh, pipeable. Huh? Frosting sounds fun. Hey Sora, what's the big rush? I know you. You're Riku. Gee, thanks for remembering me. It's been, what, a couple of hours? Uh, never mind. Are you okay? Are you still under his control? What are you talking about? I get it. You must be the Riku from my memories. The Riku from my memories? Sounds like you're stuck in the land of make-believe. I guess I kind of am. <laughs> you're such a kid. How are you going to take care of her if you act like that? Hey, speaking of her... Rumbles. My controller rumbled. What's happening? How should I know? Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm gonna go warn the others. Then I should go... Yeah, I know, I know. It's your job to look after her. Go, Sora. Okay. Off we go. I mean, the island's freaking tiny as hell. You could probably just, like, yell over to Titus Waka and Selfie to warn them. And they'd probably hear you. The island's kind of tiny. That's kind of like a... Like a plot point. The, you know, the island is such a tiny world, you know? 
probably wave over to them and they probably see you. I don't know why the game booted me back all the way over here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a Moogle Room. One of these days I'll actually buy a PC. Same, I mean I'm using a... I, I, I'm using a gaming slash streaming laptop to stream right now. Um, and it's pretty high-end thing, even though it is a laptop. It is a pretty high-end laptop, though. So it does the trick for me. But one day I think I should maybe get like a proper PC setup, desk, you know, speaker, uh, like proper monitors at some point. Um, I'd, that's what I like, but that stuff's expensive, you know? What I'm using now definitely works for me. Ooh, we've got the special Moogle booster pack now. It costs 500 points though, damn. Ooh, that was decent. Got some nines. Okay. I've got 170 points left. I'll buy one of these. Okay, could have been worse. Okay, let's see. Do I have enough card points? Oh, I got tons of card points to use. Okay. Um, how about I throw in another strike raid into the mix? So how do I make strike raids? Here it is. Uh, 24 to 26 of any kind of card. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so let's start off with a 9, and then let's use a... let's use a 7. A 9, okay, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I can use an 8 or a 9. Um, you have to do math in this game, it's pretty crazy. You know? Okay, here we go. Okay, that works well. Uh, and then I guess another Sonic Blade, maybe. I could throw in another Sonic Blade. How do I make Sonic Blades? 20 to 23, okay. Um, so let's start with a... Um, start with one of these, I guess. Um, one of those. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I need a 7 or up. Um, there. Okay. I should do the trick. Um, what else? Do I have any better elixir cards? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, maybe another cure card? I could use three. There we go. Having three cures is good, so then I can heal without worrying about it getting broken. What about stop? Uh, an extra stop would probably be a good idea. And then maybe I can consider putting in, like, a blizzard card at some point. I'll be fighting Larkseen soon, now that I think about it, so I should probably get rid of the thunder. Uh, I'll do that when I get there, because Thunder Raid is just too good. Okay, moving on. Uh, I need an 8 or higher for this door. I don't think I have any. Uh, I'll use a roulette. Oh yes, I do know. Most of the time I uh, predominantly stream on YouTube, but I'm starting to learn Twitch. Mm. I've never streamed on YouTube before. Um, I don't know why I chose to stream on Twitch. I just thought... Which seemed, um, you know, for s made solely for streaming. I mean, it, that what that's what it is for. While Twitch is uh, various other things. So, yeah, I, I do have a YouTube though, um, which is like a counterpart to my Twitch. So I'm kind of doing a bit of both. I don't stream on YouTube, but I do put my live streams on YouTube. And then I also make highlight compilations of my streams as well, for a little bit of edited action. So, so I'm using both. Yeah. It's 
Bonk. And bonk. There we go. <sighs> I'm glad it's not as warm. Oh my god, that freaking terrified me. <laughs> Dark ball came out of nowhere. I wasn't able to get off my preemptive strike. That was stressful. Well, this would be a good time to use a Thunder Raid. Because they're all grouped up. Oh, that was lovely. It just rips through them. It's so fun. This game is fun. Although it does feel like I'm spamming slates. Just over and over again. The real strategy of this game's combat is always going to boil down to the boss fights, so... For, for normal heartless battles, I'm not going to feel so bad about me just spamming slates. Okay, we've got an arrow. Wonder what level I should aim to be at for the final boss. I'm usually around level 60 or so. What level am I at right now? 51? Okay. I mean, Castle Oblivion is so long that I'm probably going to jump up a bunch of levels by the time I get to the end. Uh, I don't get uh, the stream as long as I usually do, uh, like half an hour or to an hour tops. Yeah, I my streams used to be quite short. Well, comparison compared to how they are now. When I first started, my streams will usually be like a couple hours, which I guess is kind of long. But uh, now my streams <laughs> range from like three to four to sometimes five hours long. Um, which started happening recently, actually. My 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 lowest. I, I I'd like for my streams to be at least two and a half hours these days, at the minimum, and then that max like five and a half. <laughs> uh, they, they they don't always get to be that long though. It, it, I usually just end it when I feel like it's a good time to end. Or, or if I the usual the only reason my streams will ever really be that long is if I'm committed to getting to a certain point in the game. Uh, like for now, I'm this stream might go on a bit long because I'm committed to beating Sora's story. Um, we'll see if I actually do that though. Okay, I'm gonna go for a really high level card. Let's go for this uh, this one. I want the high values for those story doors, progression gates, you could call them. Yeah, then they're straight up not giving me green cards anymore. I can't believe I never noticed that. But it makes tons of sense. They want you to grind. They want you to... They don't want you using the help of the green cards at this point. It's the way the game's way of making stuff harder, so... And it works, because the game does get pretty tough from this point on. There are some fights in this game, though, where some playthroughs I'll be stuck in them for ages, but then on some playthroughs I'll get them on my first try, no problem. Um, like, I had trouble last time, I fought Vexen at Twilight Town, and I got, and, you know, Yoshito was there, I got stuck for ages on that. Well, not ages, but I, that was the most I had died on a single boss fight. Easy. By far. So... But, uh, on some playthroughs I'm, I'm able to do that fight with no issues. So it, I think it's just luck, down to luck sometimes. Uh, the upcoming Lark Scene fight, uh, that's another fight where sometimes I have like tons of trouble with it, but sometimes I'm, it's totally fine. Uh, it depends on my cards, I suppose. Spamming slates aren't so bad, speedrunning looks like spamming to me. Yeah, how does anyone speedrun this game? I would not have the patience for that. I don't have the- I wouldn't have the patience to do just a speedrun normally. Just a speedrun of any game, really. At least not properly. I- I- because last year, uh, for my first anniversary on Twitch, I decided to speedrun, do a- do a jokey sort of bad speedrun of the first Ratchet & Clank, because I love Ratchet & Clank. Um, it wasn't like a serious speedrun, it was kind of just like a, 
I'll play the game somewhat fast to the best of my ability and throw on a timer on screen just for the fun of it. Uh, I wasn't like trying to do it well, I was just sort of speedrun just for the fun. Just for fun. Um, that was fun, but I don't think I'd ever want to do a, like a serious speedrun with the intention of actually getting a good time. Uh, that re seems to require a lot of patience that I don't really have. Ironically, it requires a lot of patience because it's a speedrun. <laughs> I'm planning on doing another jokey bad speedrun for my second anniversary on Twitch this year in September, and I think I have a good idea of what game I want to run. I like the idea of going back to games I've already finished on stream and speedrunning them, so that might give you a hint. Or even six hours? Yes. <laughs> I don't think my streams have gone on for six hours yet. I think five and a half has been the max. I don't know, though. You might be right. I'm not sure. I don't think I've had a stream go on for six hours yet. I think it's been five and a half has probably been the most, probably the longest. I think I've had like two or three streams that have gone on for that long. Um, I don't think I've had a six hour one yet. I might be wrong, but that that um that's crazy. I like that some of my streams have been going on for longer though, it just, th th I mean, the reason that my streams have been going on for longer recently is, I mean, to boil it down, I'm just having fun. <laughs> uh, I find, I've been finding streaming very fun lately, I mean, I've, I will usually find it fun, but uh, recently I've been way more motivated to stream more, which is why I stream multiple times a week now, instead of just the once a week, and I'm just having... I'm just having tons of fun streaming, so I like to keep them going for a bit longer. I mean, if I have no one in the chat to talk with, then I'd probably cut the stream a bit shorter, because otherwise I don't want to make... I don't want to make progression in the game too much if no one's there to watch it, you know? Also, it's just not as fun on my own. The way I like to think about it, though, is if, if it's just me by myself and there's no one to talk to in the chat, then I'd at that point just consider it a let's play. A recorded let's play where I just commentate by myself because that's basically it might as well be at that point which is still you know enjoyable to do on its own anyway so it is fun when I have people in the chat to talk to though talk about all kinds of things like what games have we been playing lately have we been playing any any interesting games lately what what what, what games we play in I've been playing Uncharted 4 recently Because I like Uncharted. But at least he's entertaining. Oh yeah, that means it's just an intense stream. Mmm. Intense. Yeah, especially if I'm if I'm committed to achieving a goal. Again, that's usually the reason as to why a stream would end up going longer, is if I'm committed to getting to a certain point. Uh, a lot of my Hollow Knight streams I noticed were pretty long, and that's usually because I was trying to beat a difficult boss or something. Or get to a certain point. Bond of Flame? Wow. Okay. Neat. Oh, uh, here's the uh, rewards room. I want to... Uh, oh, what? That's a lot of threes. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to use up so many of my cards. Um. Okay, this might be a problem. I don't want to have to grind for cards on stream. That's 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 just not fun. No one wants that. Oh god. Okay, I should use all my save points because I never use them. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping that these games, uh, these game expos, I'm hoping they show me some, uh, some new four content. I'm hoping that these game expos, they show me some. Mm. I think the KH3 Xehanort fight was long only because sleeping in the chat were cheering you on. Yeah, I was like considering stopping it. Yeah, that was a, that was probably my longest stream that I had ever done at that point. Um, I think um, I hadn't had a stream go on that long before then. Because uh, that one ended up being like five and a half hours. And the reason was because I was committed to beating the game. I think this, the chat was more committed, really, because I was, like, considering, like, stopping and trying again another day. Although the downside to that would have been that I would have to start the fight from the beginning uh, if I decided to stop. 
But Sleepy was getting tired and I felt bad because I didn't like that they- because I felt- it felt like they weren't having fun anymore and I didn't like that. But you guys in the chat kept on egging me on and I wanted to keep going honestly. I wanted to keep playing. Um, I'm glad I did end up finishing it though because it ended up being quite the big, uh, like, the grand victory when I finally won. Uh, that was a fun stream. I look back on that one fondly. That was fun to highlight, that one. I've been playing a lot of old school Neo Geo. Isn't that a Sega thing? Sorry, am I... Um... Am I getting that wrong? Oh, right. KH4 content. Oh, that's what you meant. Show me some new 4 content. I see that you meant KH4. Okay. I don't think we're going to see a new KH4 trailer for a while. Also, what did I get from those chests? I was not paying attention. I think I got something. I don't know. Um, I don't think we'll be seeing a new Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer for a while. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see a KH4 trailer at some point before the year's over, but I, I, I don't know. I'd be surprised. Uh, Mushu is there, or Mega Flare, or neither? Oh, I didn't pay attention. It could have been any of those, but I did not pay attention. <laughs> I'm Odds are I'm not going to use any of the cards in there, so... I'm only really collecting them for the sake of collecting them. Oh, I got a Megalixer? Oh, I might use that. It depends. How does a Megalixer differ from a regular Elixir? Oh, saying the word Elixir reminds me of a moment where I said the word Elixir, and my Alexa thought I said Alexa, and then she started talking to me and it made me jump. And it scared the hell out of me. That was quite a funny moment. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing a Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer for a while. As much as I want to. Yeah, the, the Xbox event is going on. I think it's still going on right now. Maybe not. I actually don't know. It might be over by now. But um, yeah, it, it's, um, it occurred to me that we could see Kingdom Hearts trailers at an Xbox event from now on because, you know, the series is on Xbox now. It's not just PlayStation exclusive uh, stuff anymore. Um, I think one of the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers was shown off at an Xbox event at E3 one year. Uh, which was really surprising because I think there was also another Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer that showed up at the Square Enix event at E3 that same year. So we got two KH3 trailers. I think the Xbox one was the one that showed off Pirates. Uh, the Caribbean. I might be wrong though. But I remember that day vividly. I remember I remember every time a new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer came out, I remember rushing home being excited. I remember when I was um when I was signing up for college. It was it was the enrollment day for college when um the Big Hero 6 San Francisco trailer came out for Kingdom Hearts 3. And I remember getting the notification on my phone while I was taking a, t a quick test during a college enrollment. And I remember sitting at my desk, like, squealing to myself because we, we had finally gotten the Big Hero 6 Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. Because San Francisco was a world that was announced ages beforehand, but we had never seen a trailer for it. And then we finally saw it and I was like... <gasps> so I remember rushing home very happily that day. To, to watch the trailer. Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer it, uh, hype was like something else. It was, um... Man, I hope Kingdom Hearts 4 brings back the magic of Kingdom Hearts trailers. I'm sure it will. You know, what world's gonna show up? You know, what character's gonna be there, you know? Uh, Neo Geo is its own console. Oh yes, isn't it like a handheld? Uh, I might be wrong about that. I, I've heard Neo Geo. And uh, yeah, I think it is a console. Uh, that could have been better. There's so many dark walls. Uh, 
Fork. Oh, all their card values are lower because of the room I used. So I don't really have to worry about using Slate so they don't break my cards. No, it's a Japanese console? Oh, interesting. What kind of games do uh, you play on it? Ooh, hearing Sora say stop is still weird to me. I'm not used to KH2 Sora saying stop. Stop magic obviously isn't a thing in KH2. Ooh, card. Total Eclipse, that sounds cool. Oh, well, this is the boss room. We got the boss room right here. Huh, yeah. wow, this world is pretty short, isn't it? We're an hour into this stream and we're already right up to the end of Destiny Islands. So I guess a majority of this stream is just going to be taken up by Castle Oblivion and probably grinding for map cards because I'm pro I feel like I'm probably going to run out. Because I know that the final the final boss room requires an absurd amount. I don't remember how much, but I think it's like a value of 100 for each color card. I don't know, something like that. Maybe Maybe it's more like 50, but I don't recall. But I know it's an absurdly high amount of cards you need. What I probably should do, you know what would be a clever, smart thing to do? I should grind for green cards before I enter Castle Oblivion, so that when I inevitably run out halfway through the world, I don't have to go halfway through the world again. 99 of each colour? That's absurd, bro. Okay. Since I'm not going to get any more green cards. Because here's the thing, I'll, I'll, here's what will happen, I'll get to the, to the room, I'll need to get a bunch of map cards. I won't be able to collect green cards on Castle Oblivion, so I'll be forced to leave the world and come back. But if I leave Castle Oblivion, then, you know, my progress is going to be all reset and I'd have to go through all the rooms again. So it would probably be smart if I just collect the cards I need before going to Castle Oblivion, huh? That's what a smart player would do. I think. Uh, that's where all the SNK fighting games come from? Really? That's interesting. Um, SNK... I've heard of them. Don't they have a Smash Brothers character? Like a character in Smash Brothers? Isn't that, isn't that where Terry comes from? From Smash Ultimate? I might be wrong. I only remember being like, who, what the hell is an SNK? What the hell is a Terry? when uh, he got announced for Smash Brothers, I was like, I have no clue who this is. I think every Smash Brothers character uh, for the DLC for Smash Brothers Ultimate, I knew in some way, shape or form, except for Terry. Well, actually, let me go through it. So first it was Piranha Plant. I knew who Piranha Plant was, so that's a check. Uh, then it was Joker. I knew about Joker already. That was a check. Hero, I knew about Hero, Dragon Quest, I like me some Dragon Quest, so that's a check. Uh, who was next? Banjo and Kazooie? Yep, I knew about Banjo and Kazooie already. Terry, Terry I did not know, I, I had never heard of him, so yeah, that was that. that's a nope, that I did not know who Terry was before Smash. Uh, and then the fifth character was Byleth, I already knew about Byleth. And then Fighters Pass 2, who was the first character in Fighters Pass 2? Oh, Min Min. Yeah, I already knew about Min Min. And who was second? Steve? Was Steve second? Am I forgetting someone? I knew about Steve, I knew about Sephiroth, I knew about Pyra and Mithra. Um, I knew about Sora, of course. So yeah, I think I knew every DLC character except for Terry. Terry was completely brand new to me when he got introduced to Smash Brothers. And I, I, I never bought him. <laughs> I only ever bought the DLC characters that I really significantly cared about. So the Smash Brothers DLC characters I ended up buying in the end were Joker, Hero, Banjo-Kazooie, Sephiroth, and Sora. And the others I have not played. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, I should I should grind for cards ahead of time. Especially the green ones, because green ones apparently don't appear 
on the higher floors of the castle. I'm glad you told me that, Yoshido, because I would not have considered that. Well, I might have that I might have gotten clued in on that after a while, but it probably would have been too late at that point. So I'm glad you told me. Good on you. This is a team effort, after all. That was cool. Does stop magic work on bosses? That would be a great way to like allow me time to reload or heal or something. I don't... I have a hard time believing that time magic would work on bosses though. Well, lethal frame works on bosses, so... I don't know. I wonder if I should upgrade my HP anymore. Hmm. 50? Gee, what are you doing to me? Uh, okay. Uh, what cards do I never use? I hate using these. And I hate using these. Okay. Um, and I don't like using those. God, this is an absurd amount of numbers they expect from me at this point. Okay, save rooms. I never use save rooms. Be wise if I use those. Okay, here we go. I think we've got dark side now. What can I say except you're welcome? There's another Kingdom Hearts world that that should happen. Moana. The island. No, my premiums. Oh, is that what I threw away? Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Oh look, it's uh, do you remember Kingdom Hearts 1? Do you? Remember Kingdom Hearts 1? Actually, that's like this entire game is like, hey, do you remember Kingdom Hearts 1? That's basically this game in a nutshell. Except it's ironic because Sora does not remember Kingdom Hearts 1. That's the entire point. It's quite funny when you think about it. You get it? Do you get it? <laughs> Shall I lethal frame this guy? Ooh, that was nice. I need my super rare Mickey card. Oh, my premiums, my heart. Yeah, sorry, I know you how much you like your premiums, but I'm sorry, I, I just never use them. That didn't work. Where's my super ultra rare Mickey card? No real point in using slates right now. So they odds are they probably won't reach anyway. Oh, my super rare Mickey card. Okay, let me just get some damage in. Okay, there we go. I'll reload my cards. And here we go. Oh, I stood in the wrong spot. Okay. Do some platforming. Oh no, Sora! He fell. Nearly there, come on. Just a few more whacks. There we go. Got him. Wow, that was pretty, uh, that was not difficult. Like at all. That was about as difficult as the fighting KH1, which is not very. Oh, I like this cutscene. I have to keep her safe. It's quite sweet. Domine, can you hear me? Oh. Sora, you really came for 
for me. It's you. Oh, really he's you. so happy. I've been through so much just to see you. Oh. I wanted to see you too. He's so happy. But this isn't right. It must stop. I wanted to see you. But this isn't the right way. Namine? I was lonely for so long. I just couldn't bear it anymore. Oh. So I called out to your heart and had you come all the way out to this place. You came for me and I'm so, so happy, but... But to your heart I had to. Don't worry. I'm here because I promised that I would protect you. Oh. Sora. The biggest cheese in the GBA of this fight is using about I'm six so wind ray to defeat it. Wow. There's so much interesting stuff I learn about the GBA games from from what you say. That's true. Nominee? Oh. That is it too. I'm not there. Something I didn't consider until recently. So two nominees start showing up and start like butting heads with each other at this point. I thought that it was some sort of metaphor for how there's a part of nominee who wants to who's going along with the organization's plan and then there's the other part who wants to help Sora. I didn't realize until recently that what might be really happening here is that the ghostly looking nominee is the real one and the Namine that Sora was just talking to um, is like the figment of the card world, like the the, the card world Namine, and the other one's the real one. Um, I don't know, that's just, just like my, just thinking aloud. <laughs> they don't really exist inside your heart. I don't exist in anyone's heart. I never have existed anywhere. What? What are you saying? What's gotten into you? Weren't we inseparable? Always together? But then you had to go away. Oh. I came here so I'd never lose you again. Was it really me you wanted to see? Of course it was. I know I've forgotten a lot of things in this castle, but never anything about you. <sighs> Look, you gave this to me, didn't you? You have it. My good luck charm. No, Sora. You can't believe me. Ah, uh, yes. So the, the ghostly one is like the real one. And the, the nominee on the right there is Thanks, a part of the card world just illusion. Who's just sort of playing the role. About who's most special to you. That's what I think. Call out to that piece of metal Might be actually really obvious. That, glimmers that I didn't realize. Inside your heart. <laughs> No matter how far away the light gets, your heart's voice will always reach it. Who's most special to me? <laughs> That's an easy one. It's you, Namit. It. Oh. oh, JPEG. There she is. Who? Who was that? I can't remember her, but she feels so familiar. Namine? Namine? Oh, is this where we get Oathkeeper? Yes! Okay, we get Oathkeeper. Very fitting time to get Oathkeeper. I like how they do that. They, um, you always get Oathkeeper. Ooh, two become one. Neat. You always get Oathkeeper at a relevant point in the in the plot, where like a, usually a very Kyrie centric moment, because you know it's it's the Kyrie Keyblade. Uh, except for KH three, because KH 3s was added in through a free update. Although the update came out the same time as the DLC, and the DLC is very Kyrie focused, so I guess it kind of counts. I'm excited to get Donald and Goofy back because I miss Goofy's broken um, spin attack. 
Who was it yesterday that I fought against? I think it was against uh, Repliku in the last stream, where Riku just freaking annihilated him and took down like three health bars in one spin attack, and it was glorious to see. So I missed my Goofy. I missed my Goof Troop. <laughs> Riku.exe has rebooted. Oh yeah, we got Repliku, don't we? Okay. And then right after that, we've got Larkseen, so I'm probably going to get rid of my Thunder and replace it with a Blizzard. Okay. Because uh, Larkseen will just absorb that Thunder right up. The Lark scene fight gives me tons of trouble. I don't think the Riku fight will Nobody. give me too much trouble. It doesn't usually. It isn't you. The person most special to me. It's not you. Right? No. The girl you really care about. The one who was always with you. It's not me. It's her. Aww. But then who Nominate's so who cute. She? She's so she's great. I love Nominate. She's she's, so she's special, a good character. Then why can't I remember? Because I went into your memories and let me explain this. Oh. Oh yes, angry boy. And simple. Your memory is a train wreck. Oh my god. He's so savage in this game. Who's meant to protect Naminé. It's supposed to be me! But you and your messed up memories are always in the way. Sora! Just one more Riku fight for the road. Although not really, because we'll be playing as Riku later. Okay, here goes. How hard can this be? As long as he's not got zeros coming out of his butt, it should be fine. Oh dear, get to my zeros. Oh my god! Uh oh. I did not consider that. Right, um, okay, it takes way too long to get to my zeros. Um, right, mm hmm. Let me just give that another go. He has no zeros and you died. <laughs> Does he have no zeros? That'd be really helpful. I'm just gonna give another shot because maybe that was just some freak bad luck. Pixel.exe has stopped working. Oh my god, he's so freaking powerful. I also just need to get back into the groove. What does Incrementer do? That's the card he's using. Oh, he's doing his jumps. Ow! God, he does so much damage. Just stop jumping? Stack your cards. Oh crap. Oh, that dark aura is nasty. This is tough, this is tough, this is tough, this is tough, this is tough. When Riki uses Shadow Enemy Card Incrementer, all his cards receive a plus one. So zero is equals one now. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. That's good for me. I mean, all his cards are more powerful, but, you know. Oh. Oh, I won? Oh. Huh, I didn't realize that his health was that low. Okay, I guess that wasn't so bad. 
I mean, it did a butt ton of damage when he actually hit me, but the trick was just to not let him hit me. Riku replica. That's basically a spoiler. But they give you the Riku replica card then to clue you in on what's really going on. Uh, right before the cutscene, that explains it all. Can I leave? Okay, I'm gonna save. <laughs> <sighs> his shadow card was his doom. Yeah, he's not very bright, is he? Um, so now we've got Larkseen, and I know she's going to be full of zeros. That's exciting, so let's do that. Everything is my fault. Aww. Yeah, how, place your bets. How many times am I going to die in this fight? Because I'm probably going to die a bunch. What happens if I try leaving? I really got to talk to Riku. Oh, okay. If we must... Riku. Want some more? Ah, Sora. Oh, fireball to the face. Riku. Looks like I win. Riku, stop! You are through. I said stop. Oh, right. Yeah, it does not compute. He has officially Riku? shut down. Riku? Riku! His eyes open is so disturbing. What did you do? What did you do to him? Freaking smashed his brain. Broke his heart. I'd say more like she smashed it. Oh right, his heart. Whatever. Smashed. Brain heart, same thing. His heart. That's <laughs> three. Then Riku dot EXE has crashed. Yes, he has crashed. To Riku, you're worried about, then don't. Because Riku was never. Really I'm always there. down for some lock scene sass in my Kingdom Hearts Do games, really so I quite enjoy this cutscene. That's too easy. <laughs> oh, what to do? Quit the games. Bonk. It makes all the sense that Sora's getting absolutely beaten up by Larkseen in this scene. Um, just because he just had a fight with Riku, and he just got shot with a giant dark fireball. So you can't say, ooh, Sora can't lose. Unrealistic. Sora was just in a fight, so... Not Riku. A fake? Fake in every possible way. It was only finished recently. How could it remember anything? You get it? Its memories with Namine were just planted, not real. Oh, damn. Yep, that means all this time it's been picking fights with you over memories that were counterfeit, trumped up, and completely bogus. Imagine if this game couldn't skip cutscenes. You'd have to watch this scene every time you died to lock scene. Oh, so it's a good thing this game does have a skip cutscene button. You do awful things. <laughs> Namine? You're so stupid. Don't you get it now? That's what Namine's powers are about. She can enter, rearrange, and even create new memories of anything, even things that never happened. The girl you've been trying to protect all this time is really a manipulative witch who shackles people's hearts. <gasps> then that would be horrendous. Yeah, I would like this cutscene significantly oh, less if you it. couldn't skip it. Lies, lies, all Just lies. based on the amount of times I lose at this fight. More. Binding you in the chains it would be the Kyrie's inside me cutscene from KH1. Because you couldn't you skip that in the PS2 version, and I died a hell of a lot at that fight when I was younger. So close to it, we were almost there. This was our only chance to turn the Keyblade Master into our puppet, but that jerk Axel, he used Nominate to betray us. So now, I'm left with no choice but to eliminate you. Oh, Nominate's face. Freaking puncher. Don't. Huh? It's a little late. 
for the witch to grow a conscience. Last time I checked, you're the one who fooled around with his memories creating this mess. I know, but... I should tell you that I'm in an extremely foul <coughs> mood. Aren't you always? You all our plans are ruined. Oh, damn. At least she had the decency to put her claw away before slapping her. Nominee. She could have easily had not done that. <laughs> are you upset? <laughs> Would have been more graphic if she had slapped her with the her. with her claw knives out. Maybe not. It's knives, isn't it? It's not a claw. It's a, it, they're like knives, aren't they? I, I think. A promise. Maybe both. I don't know how Larkin's weapon works. A promise. I made to nominee to keep her safe. Maybe my memories are fake, but the promise. Is real to me. That's why I'll keep it. Aw, he's the goodest of boys. <laughs> You're such an idiot. There is no promise, and there never was. You're just delusional. Must you insist on playing the hero? <laughs> Kunai knives. Oh yes, that's what they are. If that's the way you want it, you're going down alone. <laughs> Oh, don't want to go for you to the rescue. I like how he uses Kiraga on him. That's a nice touch. Makes sense. I like it when gameplay mechanics make their way into the cutscene. This is the Discord light mode room? <laughs> yes! Oh, I didn't know that Castle Oblivion was located inside my phone, because I always have light mode turned on. Actually, that's an interesting question. Do you always have light mode turned on or dark mode turned on? I'll pose that for the chat. I always have light mode turned on. I like it when the phone screen destroys my eyesight with its brightness. Also, I have brightness on Max. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, this is not going to be fun for me. This fight is ass. I know that she pack in a ton of zeros in that coat. See, her, the first card she uses is a bloody zero. She is trolling me already. Also, her the the her face on her cards are even smug. Oh, she's using dash. What does dash do? Oh, I've got Don and Goofy back though. Goofy Don Sora. Oh, bloody zero. Her knives magically appeared now, yeah. I should have reloaded. Oh, she was trying to use Mega Vault. Crap, that was sucked. Okay, Donald, I need you to use Cure. Don't use Thunder, you bloody friggin... Damn it, she used a zero. <laughs> no! Okay, for a first attempt, that wasn't that bad, actually. I was doing quite well, actually. I don't know how, how far into that was I. I think she had a few health bars left. Oh my god, dead, dying, deceased. That wasn't too bad for a first attempt, honestly. Hmm. But it, it's probably going to be one of those, my first attempt was really good, and then my attempts after that are just going to be awful. The way it always works, so you know, this fight, this attempt is going to last probably a few seconds and then I'm going to die, so. That's what you get for trusting Donald. Yeah, he used thunder on her. I really needed his help and he let me down. I like you, Donald, but you make it really hard to like you sometimes.
I panicked a little bit there. <laughs> Almost of my voice did not like that. How? Could you stop with your lightning? Please don't use a zero. Oh, great, thank you. No! Yeah, that attempt was uh, a little bit grubby. That was not a very, uh... Yeah, <laughs> that could have gone a lot better. Yeah, my first attempt was definitely better than that one. Let's try it again. Freaking antenna hair looking. Okay. Bonk. Bonk bonk. I gotta be ready for her zeros. Don't use a zero, evil Patrick me. <laughs> That's literally her. She's so freaking pure evil, this one. Don't use a zero, don't use a zero, don't use a zero. Yes! Kill a goof! Don't use thunder. I hate you. Don't use a zero, don't use a zero, don't use a frick! No! <laughs> ah. That was so close! She had like less less than half health oh that hurt jesus that damage i know that was nuts and i'm like i'm getting pretty far into it as well that damage shall not vanish Oh, Thunder Boost. Don't use a zero. Not very much. I'm in a lot of danger right now. There we go. <laughs> uh, it occurred to me that I didn't have any cure cards. I need to make sure I have cure cards available on me at all times. So if I don't have any cure cards, reload. Do 
This isn't seeming as frustrating as Vexen, but we might get to that point. Locks you in a stun. The combo. I was feeling good about that attempt. I was about to summon my triple Donald, and Donald probably would have used Thunder on her, but you know, I feel risky like that. So she hasn't been using many zero cards. She only ever really seems to use zero cards when I really don't want her to. Which I, I guess is smart AI, I guess. Annoying AI. She uses zeros when it's the most inconvenient. For me. Just spam those slates. just happen to have a higher value card. Oh my god, 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 <laughs> oh no it's when she gets me stuck in a stun lock <laughs> that was going so well i'm getting really far in and then i'm dying at the very end god uh, this is so doable I'm consistently using my strike raid then lethal frame strategy to get some early damage in. I see nothing wrong with that strategy, so I'm going to keep using it. Okay, yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do there. I was trying to be clever, but that wasn't going to happen. Okay, okay. I've forgotten what attempt this is now, actually. I didn't get super fire in that time either. Yeah, you know, I knew this fight would give me trouble. Nice. You need some help. <laughs> Isn't that what Ephema says? Can I just summon a bunch of Keyblades and just right through her? Lightning. 
Whoa, when did I get so many freaking Donald cards? Uh, starting to panic. I sent Cosmo Sheep on the way, sure. Which is about to use Blade Storm. That's going to get broken. You can't just do that! <sighs> she moves so quickly. She's so fast. How does she do it? She was using the dash card. Like the dash card ability. I don't know what that does, but I guess that's why she's able to just spam slate so quickly, because she's using dash, but I don't know. Maybe it allows you to just play cards quick. What? Hey, wait a minute. Wait. I must prepare two sacrifices now. Oh dear. So good. Ah, oh, yeah, that went really bad. <laughs> I ran out of cards. Oh, I'm sorry. This must be not very fun to see. I'm trying. Good lord, I'm trying. Okay. I'm being quite silent, I noticed as well. Zero versus zero. Yeah, I tried. I was just spamming cards at the end there. I got so overwhelmed. Bloody zeros. Okay, I need my cure. Going badly. Yeah, I should have known that won't work.
Yes! I had no cure cards available without reloading. And I got to a point where I just gotta spam all my cards until I win now. <laughs> Ooh, Goofy really came through for me there. Oh, got there in the end. Wow, that was rough. That that could have been a bit smoother, I think. But I won. <sighs> oh dear. That was tough. But, you know, the worst is behind us, I guess. No. No. Some days I find I this fight harder than Marluxia, so... Such a bunch of losers. I think I'm, I'm fainting? Losers. No. Bye bye. Dear God, that fight gets me every time. Be nominated. It's good to meet you. We're friends of Sora's, and my name is. You're Goofy, and you're Donald. She's a stalker. Congratulations, Sora. You finally. Now to grind some green map cards. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Gee, there sure are a lot of questions. Nominee, I know this probably won't be easy for you, but could you tell us what happened? And Riku's still dead in the back there. It's my fault after all. I took the people and memories that were inside Sora's heart. And little by little, I replaced them with false memories. Hey, what about Sora's promise? Made up. It was Aww. fake. Sora never really promised me anything. Me being with him on the islands. That was a lie, just like everything else. Aww. We never met. Rico's updating to the latest firmware at the moment. Yeah, that's literally never it, because he comes more. back better than ever later on so that's literally probably what's going on <laughs> i mean nominee probably has to uh to start it up first i guess then that must mean it was your magic that made the rest of us lose our memories too is there any way for us to ever get them back? i love jimmy cricket screen time can fix everything if we go to the 13th floor 13th foreshadowing but marluxia he bet i know who that is was he the fella who made you tamper with all of our memories? It looks like Jiminy should be sliding off a sore shoulder. Oh well. <laughs> I'd be locked in this castle forever. I've been alone for so long. Aww. So you did what he told you to do because you were lonely? It sounds bad when you say it like that. Don't be. Please don't cry. Oh. Of course. I know I really don't have the right to. That's not what I meant. What? It's like this. I'm really not happy about you messing with my memories. But... Oh, Jiminy's you know, gone. I can't really get mad at you for it either. These memories you gave me... Yeah, Jiminy's gone. In my head, I know... I'm not complaining. I know why he's gone. It's because the uh, this moment right. would uh, be ruined if Jiminy was just sort of blocking up half of Sora's face. But, um... I said anyway. I would protect you. And that I wouldn't make you cry. Not ever. Namine, if you cry now, I'll feel guilty, like I let you down. So don't cry. Please. Until I get my memories back. Smile and try to be happy. Jimmy fell and sort of squashed it. No! Oh man, that's grim. Oh, drama. That's a bit much. It's okay. <laughs> Sora always gets like this every time he's around a girl. Aw, oh, cut it out. Aww. I thought you both lost your memories too. <laughs> too bad. Good friends don't forget the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Wholesome. There. That's it. That's the nominee I remember. Yeah. It's 
pretty easy for Sora to, to have squashed Jiminy, actually. His shoes are big enough. Of course, that was really only in my fake memories. But what I'm feeling now definitely isn't fake. It's real. Thank you. Well then, let's go. I guess Jiminy just decided to just peace out and just go into Sora's hood. He's like, yeah, I'm bored of this conversation now, bye. I'm gonna write in my journal or whatever. Yeah. Maybe you could look after Riku? We'll come get you when it's over. Okay. I always really appreciated Jiminy's efforts to write in the journal. Cause A, it must be really hard because he he I'm like a Donald. I, I, I always I imagine Jiminy just sort of hangs out in Sora's hood. He always jumps out of Sora's hood on his jacket, so I guess that's where he just sort of likes to sit. It must be half run to write in the journal when when Sora's like jumping around and flipping and all that. Not to mention it must be hard to write about stuff as they're happening. To write quick enough. Like Jiminy is like incredibly talented. Aw, he's Riku looks like he's fallen asleep. Okay, let's go collect some green cards. I wish I could help Riku. I'm the one who caused his suffering. Oh. You're a nice guy, Sora. Why? It's a secret. A yep. What if we have to face Axel and Marluxia? Oh. Almost as big as Goofy? Yeah, the shoes. The shoes. I'm confused as to why he doesn't have legs with those shoes. Hmm. Shoes. Okay, I should go get some cards. Unfortunately. Promises never fade, even if all our memories do. Let's deal with Marluxia and get our memories back. Oh wow, there isn't even a card, the door's just open. I guess it makes sense that we're going into Castle Oblivion itself. Like muscle legs with those heavy shoes. Well, you're assuming that the shoes are heavy as they are big. They're big. That doesn't have to mean that they're heavy though. Although it makes sense, I guess. His legs must get a workout lugging around the big shoes. Hmm. Questions. The real questions that need answers. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna head down to the lower floors and get some green cards, because I don't think I have enough. If I actually need, like, 99, then, uh, no, I ain't got enough right now. So, here's the thing. Before we leave, I just want to mention something real quick. Um, so the music for Castle Oblivion, when you're in between the hallways, uh, the music that's playing right now, like, if we give it a listen... Yeah, so that music that's playing right now. If you'll notice uh, in the in the music piece, there is some like what sounds like bells chiming in the music, which is really nice, and it makes the 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 castle sound more eerie and mysterious. But uh, the bells in the music actually has a pretty cool payoff later on. Um, so yeah, remember the bells in this music because I'll, I'll bring them up later on because they have a pretty cool little payoff. Uh, when you go into Castle Oblivion itself. Um, so remember that, because I'll bring that up later. Anywho, uh, what floor do I have to be at for green cars to spawn? Can I be at 11? Hope so. Would it be better if I do, like, really easy, like... Would it be better if I go back to really low-level worlds so it's just easier to grind cards because the enemies will die really quick? Or is it harder to get higher-level cards that way? I think so. Oh, Mitch, hi. Hi. Oh, I got a key to rewards. That was quick. Okay. I think so. 
I'd say yeah, go down to like the really low level level rooms because the enemies will die immediately if I go there. Like I'll head back to Travis Town, and then you know the Heartless will die really quick, and then you know logically I'll be able to grind cards easier that way. Unless high high map cards don't really spawn, but I don't see why they shouldn't. If I use a roulette room, especially, it should be fine. Let's give it a shot. Also, again, hello Mitch, how are you doing today? Very nice of you to join us, I hope you're doing well. Bonk, woo. Uh, <laughs> hi, Kingdom Hearts, and I see you're being so much active, Fixel. Good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is the third in a trilogy of streams that I'm doing this week, every day for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm streaming three days in a row for some reason. I don't know why. I just felt like it, I guess. Like, there's no special occasion. I'm just streaming three times in a row for s just because. The, the opportunity showed itself. Usually I'd stream on Friday and Sunday, and then have Sunday in the Saturday in the middle. But Sleepy Grim was willing to stream with me on Saturday, so I was like, okay, I'll just stream three times. So... And they're, and they're different games each time. Friday was Cuphead, then it was Resident Evil yesterday, and now it's Kingdom Hearts, so... whoop de doo How much fun are we having? And, and and the streams yesterday and on Friday were both good, so um, I'm pretty happy. I'm very pleased to hear that, yeah. That is good, you will increase an algorithm. Really? Is that how it works? I wouldn't know, I haven't I don't really know much about how algorithm works. But um I guess streaming more frequently is a good thing, but partially the reason why I don't stream this frequently more often is I'm just worried people will get sick of hearing my voice. I don't know. <laughs> There's a few reasons. I don't want to get burnt out, and also I'm worried that because uh, I'm worried that overkill might be a thing <laughs> if I stream too much. I don't know. The downside, though, to streaming every day is that I don't really have time to work on any editing, which is fine because you know I can work on editing any day, really. Uh, I haven't made much progress towards my Sleepy Grim swearing compilation for a few days. But it should be done soon. This month, I reckon. I see I saw this story. Mm. Keep it up, my friend. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it depends, really, but social media helps with the constant posting or streaming, whatever it depends, honestly. Hmm. I should use Twitter more. I rarely, like, actually post anything on Twitter aside from streaming-related stuff, so I should get into the habit of doing that. Are you sure that Sleepy swears? It swears more than me. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Well, maybe you wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. <laughs> so that's quite a lot. I was editing because a while back I did a Team Sonic Racing stream with Sleepy Grim. Um, and there was quite a decent amount of swearing in that one, more than I thought, going through the footage again. Uh, also, they got fairly aggressive towards Amy a couple times, <laughs> funnily enough, which was unexpected. I don't think they actually, like, dislike Amy or anything. I think it was just the racing brought it out of them. Okay, can you use a roulette room? Yeah. Roulette room should help with the grinding of the cards. Okay, I want some high level ones. There aren't any nines here. Oh, there's an eight. I'll go for the eight. Bonk. That's what we want. 
So yeah, I'm going to want to go for the high level cards, like the 8s, 9s, and 7s. That's the best ones I want. The back of my brain is telling me how never meet your idols, but um, but I bet they are so nice. Ah, Yeah. I'm, I'm quite cl uh, close with Sleepy Grim. We are twins, so that makes sense. But I like that we're close. Okay, let's see. What, what value? Oh, there's a nine. Gotcha. Okay, I was worried that high um, value map cards wouldn't spawn on lower level floors, but I'm glad the roulette room kind of uh, gets around that. Roulette rooms are a lifesaver in this game, honestly. I wonder how long I should grind cards for. How will I know when I've had an when I have enough? If the game yells at me for having too many, that's a good indication. Oh, that was good. Nice. Okay. Now there's an eight. Green cards are my priority right now. Because I have the least of those. I haven't been active lately, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I have noticed that you have been active lately, but I, you know, you don't have to be sorry about that, you know. You have your own stuff going on, I understand. It's no worries, really. Glad whenever you do show up, though. <clears throat> okay, uh, there's another nine. There's a nine there. Gotcha. Alchemic Waking? Alchemic Waking? Uh, am I saying that right? <laughs> Oy, okay, uh, moving on. I want all them cards. Uh, but yeah, it's okay that you haven't been too active on Twitch lately. Oh dear. It is nice though, even when um, my certain viewers, like regulars, aren't active on Twitch for a while, it's nice that, um, because sometimes I, I wonder in the back of my head, like, if uh, if one of my regulars haven't, hasn't been around for a while, I do start to wonder if, um, you know, that's just because they're, they don't, like, watch Twitch anymore, or they're just, like, you know, they're, 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 they're just too busy to tune in. Uh, but then they always come back after a while, and then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I just had stuff going on. And, I don't know, it's, um... I mean, it's unfortunate that when one of my regulars leaves for a while, they feel the need to apologise for not being around, um, even though you don't have to. I'll understand if you're not here for a while. But, um, it is nice when you do come back after a while. When anyone does, really. Okay, let's see. Um, I want to grab... Ooh, these cards aren't very good. I guess I'll go for a zero. There we go. Uh, it's just that I'm working on exams and where I would uh, find a college since I am studying abroad, my boy. Oh yes, I remember. Uh, you mentioned that a while ago. I hope it's going well. I hope, that's... I hope that all goes well for you. Because that must be uh, stressful stuff. I can't really imagine. And not much for travel, so I can't really picture myself in that kind of situation. <laughs> oh wow, I'm getting tons of good cards. This was a great idea. Okay, let's uh, use another roulette room. See, I haven't used roulette rooms this entire playthrough basically up until now, so I'm really getting my use out of them now. I think I was right to save them until I really felt like I needed them. Although I aced my English exam with 100%! Oh, congratulations! I could never. <laughs> That's great. 
congrats. That's, that's great news. I barely passed English. I did pass English, but it, it wasn't exactly with flying colours. Now, IT, I passed that pretty, pretty well. No worries, no need to. Be where I am. No need to worry, I'm, I'm fine and healthy. Okay. As long as you're all good and healthy and staying hydrated like I am. Yum. Okay, there was a nine card. Uh, are any blue cards showing up on the roulette? I haven't noticed any. I'm gonna need blue cards as well. Do the blue cards show up on the roulette? I don't... I don't know. Oops, I got hit. I could do it uh, this year, but I need to work uh, two years within a year. Oh, I see. Huh. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that you'd be quite busy then, huh? Wow, no blue cards are showing up. Do they show up on the roulette? That's concerning. How am I going to grind for blue cards? My English is a second language to me? Oh, I see. Um, and I remember when uh, I was in the UK, my teacher would be shocked at how well I understood English. Wow. Hmm. Well, it's no wonder you passed uh, so well then. Uh, I've never really learnt really any other languages. Um, I know English, of course. Um, <laughs> and uh, I did I did a bit of French in uh, in school, but I didn't really have a choice. It wasn't like optional. I, it, it was just, the French was just a subject that I had to do. Um, and I was pretty decent at French. No one else in my class really cared, though. I was the one who, who really put, like, a decent amount of effort into it. Most of my people in my class did not care. And rarely tried. But, um, I, I tried. I wasn't that great, but I, I gave it my best. I don't really remember any of it, though. Bits and pieces, I suppose. Not much. Uh, it will be worse when I find time to do art at least. Mm. Oh, Yoshito, you're back. Good timing. I have a question. I'm noticing that blue cards aren't showing up on the roulette rooms. Um, is that normal? Should the blue cards show up on the roulette? Because I need blue cards as well. I'm doing great with green and red ones, but I need blue ones. I need all three, really. Oh, you know, English and Albanian, I guess. Oh. Interesting. They should? I'll show you when, when the roulette pops up, because no blue cards have been showing up. Is there like a, a ideal way to grind for blue map cards? At least because the Heartless in Travis Town are so low level, and the cards they use are very low level, this means that I can basically spam my attack cards without having to worry about them breaking it. So essentially, I can play this more like a traditional Kingdom Hearts game with just the spamming of the X button. Yeah, look, no blue, just red and green. I haven't gotten a single blue card since I've been here. a little bit concerning. Is it that blue cards just straight up don't show up on the roulette? Or maybe it's because of the floor I'm on. Maybe blue cards just don't show up on the lower floors. Is that is that a possibility? Is it possible that that's the reason? Maybe blue cards just don't show up until a certain point in, in the castle? 
I'd say go to a different level then. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll go up a few floors and see if it works. They always want to hold back on the glittering prizes. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Yeah, I'll, I'll head to a lower floor and give it a shot. Oh wait, let me just... Get this guy. They want us to grind, yeah. Why do they insist on it? I usually never grind in games as well, but the way this game is made, it kind of forces you to. Unless you're just some kind of speedrunning god. Which I am not. Lord knows. Yeah, no greens. No blues, I mean. Oh, you, uh, Mitch Redeemed Hydrate? I shall do that. Refreshing. I mean, again, my water tastes kind of soapy. Because I think I accidentally poured a slight amount of soap into it. But other than that, it's quite refreshing. You know what's quite upsetting for me to think about? It's the idea that I really don't think um, Travis Town is going to return in a, in a future Kingdom Hearts game. I mean, there's no way to know that for sure, but I don't see any reason as to why Travis Town would return in a new Kingdom Hearts game. Which is upsetting, because it's an iconic world, but I just don't see what more they could do with Travis Town. is unavoidable. Yeah, you have to grind. It's the way of this world. Because usually I don't grind in games. I, I, it's, I think the reason I never grind in games is because, uh, like for XP and stuff, is because I'm so thorough about fighting everything and collecting everything and exploring all the nooks and crannies that I rarely find myself needing to go out of my way to grind because... I just sort of do it naturally as I play. Yeah. Oh, hello. You set as an initial base for all the Final Fantasy characters? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But isn't Radiant Garden sort of doing that as well? They're, you know, because like Leon and the others used to live in Travis Town, but then they moved back to Raiding Garden. So I feel like Raiding Garden would be the main base of operations. You know, Twilight Town's still relevant because it's implied that Roxas, Shion, and Axel are still living there by the end of three. And then there's the people at Radiant Garden. I still feel like Radiant Garden is relevant. Ooh, blue cards! Okay, so I guess that confirms it. Blue cards don't show up until a few floors up. Uh, how low can I go before blue cards stop showing up? Because the lower I am, the easier the Heartless will be to beat. I'm assuming. So I guess they just don't show up on Travis Town, huh? I guess the game doesn't start giving you the blue cards until a couple floors in. Anything's possible? Yeah. I mean, Kingdom Hearts is pretty unpredictable most of the time, so, you know, anything could happen. They could bring back Travis Town any way they want. I mean, who could have predicted that they'd bring back Travis Town for Dream Drop Distance, but it's like a dream version of Travis Town? You know? So they could do anything. But there's no one really there in Travis Town anymore at this point in the plot. Oh, he died. Okay, blue cards, give me something good. I need a nine. Okay, none of these are nines. I'll grab a Sleeping Heartless. The Sleeping Heartless card looks kind of adorable. There we go, yeah, I'm getting me some blue cards now. Quite interesting that how that works. 
Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm playing this more like a traditional Kingdom Hearts game, because I'm just spamming X. Because most of the time they're, uh... I can't, they can't break my cards. <laughs> There we go. Looming Darkness. I wonder if I'll actually be able to beat Marluxia today in this stream. Go, Donald. Damn it, Donald. Oh, you missed. Feels like Donald messes up on purpose sometimes just to annoy me. That would not surprise me in the slightest. Because, I, again, I like Donald. I like him a lot, but... Oi, does he get up? Does he push my buttons sometimes? He pushes it. Sweet. Level 9. Even if you do, you cannot beat that Maleficent. <laughs> mm. Oh dear. I mean, if you do every Heartless and Castle Oblivion, probably not. Mm. That was very good, Goofy. Thank you. Lasting days. I wonder if I will jump up a level. Probably not. The, the, the XP you get from these Heartless is probably quite low. Uh, on these floors, so... Sorry, I've gone for a bit and I had to make a couple of short videos. Oh, don't worry. I understood. Yeah, no worries. You got stuff going on, I understand. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna grab this level 8. Oh wait, I missed it. And... yep. I mean, it might as well not even be a roulette. Getting the card you want on the roulette is pretty easy. They might as well just, like... Um, they might as well just have you just select the card from a list. Because getting them on the roulette is pretty easy. But I guess the roulette makes things a little bit more interesting. I guess it makes it a little more fun. Not really, I'm just making these short videos and talking about weird topics. <laughs> what kind of topics? <laughs> if you don't mind me being nosy. Uh, yep, got that. I wonder how many cards I should hoard. I should prioritize getting green cards, because when I'm traveling through Castle Oblivion, I'll probably rack up a bunch of red and blue cards that way. So I should really prioritize getting green cards now when they won't show up later. I've got one more space for cards. I wonder if I have enough. Are there any more Heartless here? I need just one more map card. There's one. You don't want... I uh, don't want to rule that will do. Uh, you don't want to rule that will get more complicated. Mostly old video games and old cartoon shows. I have my way reviews just uh, on just about everything. I see. You do seem to be really into like... Um, old school stuff with the cartoons and the video games. I quite respect that a lot. Again, I like the variety and in people's interests. Like, um, 
I briefly mentioned it in the last stream where I appreciate my viewers in the variety of the stuff that they like when it comes to games and and various other things. There are a lot of games that a lot of us do like collectively but there's also a lot of uh, variety with what we like as well and I can appreciate that a lot. Did I just collect a blue card? I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let me just get rid of some. I'll get rid of like the low ones that I'm never gonna really need. Mingling worlds. Mingling worlds works on any room, right? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I wanna get a, I wanna get more greens. Diversity is what this makes this world a beautiful place. Can't argue with that. I summon Goofy in attack mode. Oh, in attack mode he was in. Okay. A level one martial waking, lame. Okay, I'm gonna fight a few more Heartless until my, um, until I can't carry any more map cards and then I'll head on over to Castle Oblivion. I'm going to solely grab green cards for now because I won't be able to get those when I'm traveling through Castle Oblivion. So I need to grab them now. Uh, but the only reason that I'm retro most of the time is because all the newer stuff everybody's already talking about. Mm. Yeah, I guess you got. I guess it's like a kind of a niche audience for people who like the retro stuff. Yeah. There's definitely a, a good good idea. I know there are lots of people who'd appreciate those kinds of retro stuff as well. So. I only just really I only really play and talk about the games I like. It doesn't really matter if they're old or new. Like um I love playing Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 1 came out in 2002. It's about as old as I am. So and it's so it's kind of old at this point. Not not like I don't know I wouldn't call it retro old, but it's kind of old. But I still love playing it and talking about it, so I just sort of go with what I like. But there are also a lot of newer games that I like as well, so... Like uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, that's a game that I really like. I still want to stream that at some point, but I feel like I should get through my Kingdom Hearts marathon first. Okay, green. Green cards. Okay, there's a level 7. That'll do. I definitely got way more green cards than I did before. Like, no doubt. How many more can I carry? Oh, I've reached the limit. Okay. Do you reckon I have enough green cards? I've got a good amount. I think I should be fine. A bit risky, but I'll 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 head on over to Castle Oblivion. Same here. Just talk about the stuff that I like. Yeah, and that's the best way to go about it. Because you know, if you if you're having fun and you enjoy the stuff you talk about, then people will gravitate towards that. Just makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Time to head on over to Castle Oblivion. Let's see. I'm hopefully I, I got enough cards. I'm going to avoid using my green cards as I'm traveling through the castle because I'm going to need them for 
progression gates. So let's go. It's going to be tricky because Castle Oblivion likes to kick my butt quite quite good, especially with it with the Neo Shadows. You're on the TV pixel. What? Entertaining my nephew. Oh. Uh, wait, really? Who was it? Are you serious? Who's <laughs> most important to me? Because um, mild stage fright. <laughs> Um, if if you are being serious, then um, hello everyone. <laughs> no, I only Welcome in. Nominee. Come on, do you guys remember anything at all? That's why I've been talking much. I see. <laughs> I'm on TV. Wow. Take take that off my bucket list. I got on TV. Wow. Finally. We should really make a promise. Huh? What you said back there kind of got my brain a uh, thinking. Ooh. Whenever you make get Goofy's a promise, brain a thinking. Super duper big. Maybe it gives you the courage to face the scary stuff. When you get Goofy's brain a thinking, courage. You know, it it just shows that Goofy's like the smartest character in this whole series. <laughs> Goofy says something surprisingly really smart. Keeps them entertained. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Hopefully, I'm not annoying. Yeah. He appears to have the most sense. Yeah. I don't think that Goofy's. I'm not implying that Goofy's some kind of genius. I just think Goofy just thinks things through a bit more, compared to Sora and Donald, who just sort of leap into things. They they don't look before they leap. You know, prime example of that is when um, they attack Mulan and Mushu, but Goofy's like, nah, bro, we should wait for a sec. Yeah. Goofy just thinks things through a bit more. He he takes the time to think. Uh, you know, he's not he's not really like some kind of super mega high IQ genius, but he just slows down and thinks things through a bit more. Yeah. It's over. So, um, quite quite on character, I think. Oh Christ! Oh dear. Oh goody, Neo Shadows. God love him. Oh no, missed. But this music though, how hype is this music? If you can hear it over all the carnage. Oh. Yes, the Castle Oblivion music is very eerie and very creepy. Very final level. So we got Trinity Limit now, which is the most OP thing. OP and coolest slate in the game. Yeah, it is crazy busted, but in the best way, because this place kicks my butt quite good. Literally, just priority number one, get a Donald and Goofy card and then just go to town. Oh, Goofy. That's what I need. Uh, Donald, Goofy, Sora. There it is. Oh my god, they do so much damage. He's also the only one that knew she was a girl. Yeah, Goofy figured it out first. It's that he just takes the time to just sort of think about things first. While Sora and Donald just sort of leap into things without thinking. But I like that. It's a nice dynamic that the group has. It what part of what makes them a likeable trio. Oh, Donald, you have let me down. I'm letting myself down with that? Okay. I think that everyone else overthinks. Yeah, I I overthink. <laughs> I overthink things way too much.
They say zebra and automatically say striped horse. <laughs> yeah, I overthink quite a lot. It's a, it's a it's a curse. <sighs> it's like the grindiest part of the entire game. If I can get to level 60 or so before challenging Marluxia, I, 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 I can, I can, I'm good with that. I think that should be good enough. I don't usually struggle on any of the Marluxia fights. I think they're really cool. I think the Marluxia fight that I struggle with the most, funnily enough, is the first one. Because there's three back to back. Um, I usually struggle with the first one, and the second two are just really cool, and uh, they're pretty easy to deal with, honestly. We're all guilty of <laughs> demon neurosis. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Is that actually what it's called? Is that like an actual name? Shows what I know, I guess. Oh, Donald Goofy Sora. There we go. The only thing that makes Trinity Limit not work is when the Neo Shadows go into the floor, because then they just bypass the attack completely. Uh, but, you know, for for these little flying wizard guys, they, they have no chance. Yeah. It's neurosis, but I <laughs> greeted it up. All oh, right. Typo. Usually when someone makes a typo in the chat, my brain usually auto-corrects it most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. I like to think so anyway. I might be dead wrong. Okay. Donald Goofy Sora. Bonk. And light him up. There. Literally just flick of the wrist and they everything dies. It's great. Trinity Limit is great. I never used Trinity Limit in Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't even know if it's even that good. I, I think I've used it like once in my entire life. Yeah. Trinity Limit is pretty fun in Kingdom Hearts 2, just because it's uh, a little bit more flashy and fun. And it, I think it's only like one AP point as well, so it doesn't even take that much uh, Effort to really use it. Oh, whoops, I should have saved Trinity Limit for this. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, Donald Goofy saw it. There we go. It is good, really, in Kingdom Hearts 1? Hmm. Are you invincible while using it? That's the question. That's the real question I have. Because if you're not invincible while using it, I don't see how it could be better than like Strike Raid. <laughs> oh, what? I have no cards. This one Neo Shadow better not kill me. Okay. <laughs> I just realized that that was a possibility. Just for style points, I'm going to use Lethal Frame. There we go. The most satisfying thing is when you use Trinity Limit and it wipes out two waves of Heartless. Oh my god, this room, this this place is even bigger than I remember. Oh my god, look at all this. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck in here for ages. 
Uh eyes. Better hop to it then, huh? Malusha's waiting for me. At least they break it up with a with a midway axle fight. So you, you don't have to. So it doesn't take that long until you get a little bit of extra story stuff. But I guess it makes sense that the final world of the game would be extra long. Oh, Raging Storm. Oh, wow, neat. Okay, uh, I need a nine. I'm not gonna use any of my greens because I need to save those. So I need the green cards for the special doors, and green cards, I, I guess, aren't going to spawn on this floor. Because they're too good for this floor or something. Also, the little uh, circle thingamajigs on the floor there, they're literally the Hollow Bastion defense mechanism from KH2. Um, which is neat. It, it even has the exact same sound effect. I appreciate that actually. Makes me feel nostalgic and stuff. I often forget that the town's defense mechanism is even a thing in KH2. It makes the sounds and it does defeat Heartless sometimes, but I often forget that it's even there. But it is a nice bit of like world building though, because it, it, it makes sense that they'd have some sort of defense mechanism against Heartless and Hollow Bastion. I wonder how it even works. The, the defense mechanism is called claymores, I think. Trinity limit, here we go. How did you not die? Yeah, just give him the slam dunk. <sighs> Kill the Neo Shadows. Well, I'm gonna die, I should heal. I hate it when my when they go into the ground and my sonic blade misses. And if you miss one shot of the sonic blade, then it cancels the entire attack, and it's annoying. Also, did I just level up? Moments reprieve. Reprieve? Is that reprieve or reprieve? I don't know. Okay, level 56. I'm sure to reach level 60 by the time I get to Marluxia. At this pace, I'd say. It's very likely. Ooh, a Dumbo that I'll never use. My health is low. Triple Donald. How could you miss that such a giant blizzard attack? Ten thousand XP to level up again. Wow. Yeah. So, um, there's uh, something I mentioned earlier. Um, sorry, I'll just take a moment to explain this because it might be a bit tricky for me. Earlier, I brought up the uh, Castle Oblivion music when you're in between the worlds in the hallways. Uh, the music there I mentioned sounded like bells in the music, 
And looky here, it's a bell. And if you hit it... It's a little bit hard to hear. But the chime of the bell kind of sounds similar to the bell chiming in the Castle Oblivion music. Um, so in my headcanon there is that it's not so much the music, it's like these bells actually ringing in the castle. That's making that sound in the music. Um, I might be talking total nonsense here, but I always thought that was a cool little detail, that the bells here that you hit sound similar to the bells that are in the Castle Oblivion music. Uh, they make us. They sound quite similar. So it, it's just sort of like a you could you are hearing these bells throughout the entire game, technically. Uh, and that that is why. Oh, that makes sense. I wonder why there were bells in these rooms. Yeah, uh, I literally think these are the bells from the Castle Oblivion music, um, which is a really cool, uh, neat little sort of payoff. Because you've been listening to that music throughout the entire game at this point, and now you know where those bell chimes are coming from. Because otherwise the bells are kind of random. Oh dear. I could really use with a Trinity limit. Oh my god, that did lots of damage. Goody, Neo Shadow is my favourite. Donald, Donald, Donald. Donald, Goofy, Sora. There we go. Truth of it, yes. Ah, I didn't get all of them. It's when they go into the ground. I remember when the Neo Shadows beat me up pretty nicely in Kingdom Hearts 1 when I was trying to get the, uh, the synthesis, uh, the synth that's a hard word, synthesis material from them. And I got beat up quite nicely there. <laughs> okay, so that's a Donald. I need a Goofy and then I can light them all up. Nope, that's another Donald. I need a Goofy. There it is. Donald Goofy Sora. Sora just casually summons the power of God in anime. Uh, Mega Ether, and it's useless. Okay. Okay, I've reached my limit of map cards I can carry. I should probably get rid of some of my lower ones. Since uh, those won't be useful anyway. I don't want those. Okay, zero. Um... Oh! Riku looks dead! No! Uh, 
Uh oh. Marluxia is up to some funny stuff. I wonder if you can like go back there and will uh, will will Namine be gone? I'm not gonna try that because I she probably won't be there. I don't know. Still, we have to go now. Good luck on the stream. Sure thing. Um, take care and thanks for hanging out for a while. Uh, have a good rest of your day. We've got some regular baby shadows. I'll watch the battle when I get home. Sure thing. Take care, and thanks for hanging out. Yes, I was thinking that maybe um, if I beat saw a story too soon in the stream, then I could just move straight on to Riku's. The pace I'm going, I feel like the stream will be a pretty good length by the time I beat Marluxia. Actually, there's a very real possibility that it will be too long by the time I beat Marluxia, if I beat Marluxia in this stream. So, I don't think I have to worry about timing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I'm good. Okay, Donald, Goofy, Sora. Oh, one more Neo Shadow left alive. You're not impressing anyone. There we go. Oh, nearly leveled up again. This is where I really start to lose the desire to fight all the enemies. That's what I usually do, but at this point I'm like, nah. With how many rooms this castle has, I just kind of want to move on at a certain point. So once I get to level 60 or so, I'm probably going to be skipping past a lot of fights just to move things along. Because I feel like once I get to level 60 I should be fine. I might feel the need to grind later, but I think for the most part I should be all good. Oh great. I keep on using the Trinity limit at the worst times. Oh no, Goofy Sword. Okay, please don't sink into the ground. Yes, got him. And a level up. Oh, a new slate. Mega Flare. Probably won't be using it. Nice to know it's there though. I need a Mushu and two fires. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Still not too keen on using summon cards. Oh, another one of the bells. Should be making smaller rooms, I think, in order to just get through this castle quicker. Oh, here's the goof. Actually, I think I'll save it for the next wave of Heartless. Watch this be the only wave. Knowing my luck. Yep, okay. Donald, Goofy, Sora, there we go. Ah, 
Oh man, it's not quite enough to get rid of the uh, the defenders. They're just too meaty, powerful. Uh, these cards are not very high value. Should get rid of my low value cards because they're kind of useless. The high value ones that I need to prioritize getting. So any one cards I probably won't be needing. Unless there's a door that requires low value cards, which I'm not really sure if that's uh, going to be a thing. I'm mainly thinking about the like the rewards room and the, the final boss door. You need lots of cards for those. Yeah. It's over. This is it. okay. Donald, Goofy, and Sora. Oh, they do lots of damage when they actually hit you. Oh, Neo Shadows. <laughs> It would seem that I keep on using Trinity Limit at the worst time. There we go. I doubt I'm going to get anything good from chests at this point. Nah, not really. I wonder if the amount of XP you get differs depending on what kind of room you use. I doubt that's the case, but it'd be interesting if there were rooms that give you more XP than others. I guess rooms with more Heartless do that, technically I suppose, but I don't know. I meant more like uh, rooms where Heartless just drop more XP gems than usual. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna move along, I think. Oh man, I feel I'm like barely made any progress, really. Yeesh. This is gonna be... something. I have to turn my fan on. And I'm getting a bit sneezy. Completely missed. Great. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm being a bit quiet. It's just there's not a whole lot to uh, commentate on right now, just because it's the same battles. 
This is like easily my least favorite part of the game just because of how grindy it is. That was not a good idea. But, you know, this is like the final stretch of the game, though. And Riku's story I don't find as grindy. Although, it has been a while, so who knows. I quite enjoy playing as Riku, though. His combat and gameplay is definitely a lot simpler than Sora's. But I think, after going through Sora's, I think something simpler is, uh, is uh, quite refreshing. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Xbox showcase earlier. I wonder if anything interesting got announced. I heard rumours of a possible Banjo-Kazooie game. Although that might be a big old bag of wishful thinking. I'd like that. I still haven't played the any of the Banjo-Kazooie games that we currently have. Uh, but I want to try them. They seem really fun. They seem like the kind of games that I'd really enjoy, so... Oh, I'm running out of water. Nice. Oh, but some survived. Also, I just leveled up, I think. Nearly on to level 60, and then I'll start sort of uh, picking up the pace a bit more. <laughs> Oi. Should just take a while. I wonder if Castle Oblivion is like unnecessarily big, or if it's the right amount of big. Because there's so many rooms to go through. Part of me wonders if it's entirely necessary for it to be as big as it is. Maybe it's to hype up the final boss, but I don't know. Oh, uh, I got lots of goofies. There we go. Should have used a Trinity limit. I had enough for a Trinity limit, but I thought I wouldn't need it. Oh well. Mingling Worlds. That's a good card, I think. I think Mingling Worlds works on any requirement. I might be wrong. Actually, that's stupid. I don't see why that would uh, be the case. Or maybe it is the case. I don't know. I can use the save point room because I want to check my other save files. Um, I want to see what level I was at when I beat this game the last time. Just so, so I know what to shoot for. Also, I wanted to just use up an extra room. Yeah. Without fighting anything. Because <laughs> I'm a lazy. Oh, God. Okay. So, let's see. Um... 
So the last time I beat this game of Sora, I... Oh, I did it at level 66. And 65. Oh, although I didn't actually beat the game here. For some reason. Huh. 66 and 65, so maybe level 68 isn't going to cut it. Uh, I mean, if I'm good enough at the game, it shouldn't matter, but... Hmm... I guess I should carry on fighting then, huh? Let's try one of these. <clears throat> right. Almighty Darkness is what I got. Okay. Almighty Darkness sucks because it makes all the Heartless's cards higher value. Which sucks because Neo Shadows are able to break most of your cards normally anyway. So, this is just even worse. Although shadows shouldn't be so bad. I can handle shadows. Oh my god, why do I have so many Donalds? I'm loaded up on Donald cards. Oh, and it wasn't even worth it. I just need a Goofy. Goofy Donald, sorry, there we go. <laughs> oh, whoops, I used the wrong one. I used Wild Crush, whoops, I was supposed to use Trinity on it. Oh, my bad. There we go. Nightmare. Especially with Almighty Darkness, it's just the worst. Um, let me check my map cards. Hmm. Anyway, since this is an Almighty Darkness room, I don't want anything to do with it, so I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. 40 reds, oh, um, use those, use that, um, use that, that, and uh, I'll use that, okay, greens, uh, I'll use that, Okay, that didn't take up too many of my greens. I, I was expecting that to take up like all of them. It's not so bad though.
Ooh, Super Glide. I forgot this is. I forgot the Super Glide was even in this game. It doesn't really exactly make too much of a difference. Oh, in uh, Star Seeker, I forgot about that. Well, that's nice. Star Seeker even in any any good? Oh yeah, and I forgot I have Oathkeeper and Oblivion now. Wow. Okay, I should. I think I'll I'll level up one or two more times, and then I should definitely sort through my deck. Actually, can I do that now? Do I have any like worthwhile ones to? There's a four. I'll get rid of that and replace it with that. There's a five. A six. Yeah. I've just put in some Oath Cupid and Oblivion that I have. Okay, uh, Almighty Darkness, I don't want anything to do with. Save again, because why not? Also, I just saw, uh, just quickly, like, poking at my phone, I just saw on Twitter that apparently the, uh, a few of the Persona games are being put onto Xbox Game Pass. That's exciting. I've been meaning to get into some of the other Persona games. I've only played Persona 5 Royal, and I loved it, so I wanted to get into some more Persona games. Uh, so that's convenient, especially since I'm planning on getting an Xbox Series S. Don't know when exactly, but at some point soon, I think. Don't see why I should wait. Oh, I forgot. Fighting Black Fungus sucks. Especially here when they're going to have like high HP. Oh no, he's all stony. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bypass this room. Not worth it. <laughs> just going to move along. Okay, eight. He's a guarded trove. Okay, how far in am I? Okay, I'm nearly at the first story room. So I've made a decent amount of progress. Still a ways though. If I like skip over a room every now and then. I'm not necessarily in a massive rush because in terms of the stream I'm making decent time, but I just want to get through this for the sake of my sanity, you know? Can't stay in Castle Oblivion for too long and keep sane. What? Uh, oh, I got triple goofy. <gasps> I don't want to die. It just scares me how close I was to dying. I need a Donald card, please. I wonder if there's a maximum amount of friend cards that you can hold at one time. Or can you just hoard them? Or maybe the game will just stop giving them to you, just stop spawning them after a while if you hold too many. That sounds likely. Come on, give me a Donald. There, there's, there's the Donald that I wanted. Get okay, Goofy. Okay, I just need to use an attack card. There we go. Oy, oy. Goofy. Oh my god, this sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Neo Shadows are so annoying. 
Like, they're really cool design-wise, and I... Oh my god, I'm not enjoying this. Oh yeah, Megalixers, are there any good? Quickly reloads all attack and magic cards. Quickly reloads all attack and magic cards and resets the reload counter. Interesting. That's not too necessary, but it could come in handy in a pinch. Yeah, you know, I'll replace my elixir with a mega elixir. It's a value short, uh, smaller, but I think it could be worth it. I should probably just clear out the first wave, just in case, because otherwise Neo Shadows are going to appear. Sorry, there we go. No, that was Wild Crush, damn it. Neo Shadow card. Cool. I'm not going to use it, but that's cool. Um, I think I'm going to turn on my fan, because I am dying of the heat a little bit. Uh, bear with me for just one sec while I turn that on. Okay, so I had the fan going on in the background. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, but um, yeah, I'm dying, so I needed the fan on, otherwise I'd die of the heat. So, sorry. <laughs> also, hi Anubis, do what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot nicer. I, I just feel a little more chipper if, when I'm not dying from the heat, because it's quite warm. Gets quite warm because A, it's like summertime now, and B, this room is tiny and it's got lots of like computery stuff in it, so it just tends to overheat quite quickly, hence why I complain about it so much. <laughs> oh no. No need to explain, I'm pretty much in the same boat. Yeah. I'm glad. Sometimes I feel like I maybe complain about the heat a bit too much to the point where it could be quite annoying for people. So, if that is the case for anyone, then sorry. But the heat is a bit much for me sometimes.
Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of my lower tier map cards. Just the really low level ones, like the ones and the and the twos that I probably won't need. Oh, I don't really have any. Okay, I'm good. Came to watch the game and it'll always stay the same. Yes. Uh, I don't. Can you hear the fan in the background at all? Um, I hope not. You shouldn't be able to hear my laptop's fan, so if you can't hear my laptop's fan, then you probably shouldn't hear the, the fan fan. I put it, like, way in the corner of the room. So it should be fine. Not really, no, I can't hear it at all. Okay, great. The sound from the game will probably drown it out if it is being picked up by the microphone, but it shouldn't be, so... I hope. I beg. Uh, yeah, we came to watch a game and it'll always stay the same. You being cool is a bonus. <laughs> These Neo Shadows are really bugging me. They're cool, and I like them design-wise, but man, they're a bit annoying. In this game in particular. <laughs> Most of the time they're really fun to fight and I like them, but in this game, I'm sorry, I don't really like them very much. They're just kind of annoying to deal with. With their phasing into the floor and their high-value cards, and the fact that they don't leave me alone. Okay, I need good cards now. Eep. Okay, don't go too sore. There we go. Okay, now don't hide into the floor and miss the attack. Damn it. Oh, I leveled up though. <gasps> Why do they do so much damage? Oh, nearly died. desperately want these guys to perish. No! Oh! There we go. Dead. Ugh. <laughs> they need to stop with all that struggling. Yeah, they need to stop resisting death and just l let me destroy them. It's the polite thing to do. Okay. Oh my god, I've still got so many rooms to go through. Bonk. No, it's supposed to be really... <laughs> I know, right? It's supposed to be released, yeah. Somehow that strike raid worked on an airborne enemy. Oh my god, there's so many. Donald. Goofy Sora. I'm kind of glad I got uh, Super Glide. It's not too useful in this game, but it's kind of somewhat convenient to just have it. To get around a little bit faster. Definitely not as useful in this game as it is in uh, the more traditional Kingdom Hearts games, though. Uh, I keep forgetting that I want to swap out my um, 
my Blizzard card with a Thunder, because Thunder Raid I find more effective. And I don't have to worry about Larkseen anymore, she is out. She is out of here. She is gone. Although not really, because she's in KH3. Don't question with something works, just be grateful. <laughs> yeah. Bonk. Ouch. Oh, the Donald card went away. Ow. Wow, even they do lots of damage. I guess all the Heartless are just pumping out the big numbers now. One more shameless plug, my YouTube and Twitch handle are one and the same. I think I looked into your YouTube at one point. I think uh, before, I think I did uh, take a little peek. Should subscribe, I think. If I'm not already, I don't remember. Oh, premium room. A premium uh, roulette. Oh. I appreciate that, I apologise, it's all over the place. Oh, no worries. I'm sure it's not as uh, all over the place as you think. Don't know if my channel's all over the place. I like to try and organise stuff into playlists. It's quite fun to organise all my uh, uploads, it's quite satisfying. <laughs> Oh, those XP disappeared. And they borrowed under the ground and missed the attack, yay! die. All your friends died, you might as well perish as well. That's a really grim thing to say, now that I think about it. <laughs> Bit harsh. Okay, I'll use a premium card. I'll, I'll make it... I'll make one of my cure cards a premium card. There, how about that one? Right. Moving on. What level am I? 59, okay. Uh, yeah, I watched a few of your videos on both Twitch and YouTube. No, it wasn't. I mean, no one likes to be alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, most of my uploads on YouTube are just uh, the streams over here because, you know, after two weeks, the streams disappear from Twitch, unless you're a partner, in which they stay around for like a month or two, I think. Um, so I upload them on YouTube so that they, um, with not really the intention of them getting lots of views, but like mainly just so that they're somewhere. Just so they're not lost to time. The, uh, the highlight compilations I make are what I actually put time and effort into. So, it's over. Yeah. <sighs> Phew. Hey, that's how I discovered you. Yeah, which is pretty cool, actually. Because <laughs> that was kind of the whole point. That was, like, the point of, like, put, uploading the streams, as well as them also being, like, archived there. Uh... It's a lot easier for people to discover people on YouTube than it is on Twitch, so that was kind of like 
a big benefit to uploading on there so that people can find me and it worked which is nice it's nice to see that actually working <laughs> Oh no, I'm dying. <gasps> oh dear, that was close. Oh, I've almost leveled up. Uh, and I enjoyed your Resident Evil 2 stream because I was having fun watching your partner Google everything I talked about. Yeah, that was quite handy because I couldn't Google stuff because I was busy playing. But uh, that was a fun stream. I really enjoyed that. So funny because I mentioned it on the stream, but that was like, it had been like many months, like almost a year since we had last played it. Because we originally started playing it uh, for Halloween last year. And then for one reason or another, we just weren't able to get back to it again. Uh, so it was quite cool to go back to the game again. It's a, it's a really fun game. I'm glad we went back to it. So hopefully it doesn't take us another seven or so months to get back to it again. Because I want to finish it. Maybe next week, who knows. Heartless, yay. It's over. Don't plan, that's how they fail. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, things don't always go to plan. I mean, I didn't even plan on doing a Resident Evil stream that day. Well, I did on that day. That though, like, I didn't plan that far in advance to do a Resident Evil stream, really. Uh, I think it was on Thursday, I messaged my uh, my sister, Sleepy Grim, who was with me on the stream. I was like, hey, do you want to stream with me this Saturday? And they were like, uh, sure, what do you want to play? And I was like, we could either finish Uncharted, because we started playing that. Uh, we could play Sonic and the Black Knight, because I've been thinking about playing that. Or Resident Evil 2. We could finally get back to Resident Evil 2, and they were like, yeah, sure, let's play Resident Evil 2, and that that's how it happens, so... I didn't even really plan too far in advance for it. I was just sort of like, hey, you wanna you wanna stream? And they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I should do that more often. Oh, I'm at level 60. Sweet. So I took a peek at my previous save files for this game, and I'm around level 65 when I beat the game in the past, so. I should try and get around there. I'd say level 63 should be good for the final boss, I, th I think. Yeah, because when you make a schedule, everything tends to get in the way. Yeah, I get stressed out a lot, and like, I overthink things. And because I try and stick to a plan so often, that's probably why I get stressed out so much. Because I try and plan ahead for things, and then when things inevitably don't go to plan, I just get more stressed out about it. So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't try and be so, you know, on the dot about everything. I remember when I first started streaming, I wanted all of my streams to start at 7 on the dot, like right on the dot. I don't know why I wanted that though. I don't know why I was so particular about starting at like seven on the dot. But then I, whenever I inevitably wouldn't be able to do that every time, I just get really stressed out. So that's when I was like, nah, enough of this on the dot business. I'll just start when I'm ready. And I also don't start at 7 anymore, I start at 6. Or at least that's like the time I aim to start. Usually I'm a little bit later because I procrastinate a lot. 
There's never a right amount of levels, only time I ever plan on my leveling is when I'm going after Sephiroth. <laughs> what, in Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2? Yeah, I mean, most of the time your level doesn't really factor too much into stuff as long as you're good enough at the game. But for this game, I feel like the numbers and your levels mean a tad bit more. Because this game is a little bit more numbers based than the others, I guess. Just because, you know, as long as you're good at your dodging and your guarding, then that's fine. But guarding in this game revolves solely around your card values. Although this game doesn't have traditional stats, now that I think about it. It has, you can upgrade your health and your card points, but that's it. I don't know if this game has, like, traditional, like, defense or strength that, that it just doesn't tell you about. I don't know. It's alright, just plan to make room for error. Yeah, that's what I, I try to do now. Bonk. It's over. Don't go I'm dying. Both, yeah. Leveling and skill does matter. Uh, at least you have this nifty setup. Uh, you could be referring to a few things. Either you're talking about my stream overlay, my stream setup, or my setup as in the cards I'm using in this game. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit slow on the uptake sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of my card setup in this game, it is, I can understand, it is very bland, the cards that I use in this game. Because there's so many cool slates that you can use, but I don't use any of them. <laughs> I use Blitz, Sonic Blade, and Strike Raid, and basically stick with those throughout the entire game. It works for me. It does cause most battles to feel very samey. Uh, oh dear. Please don't start me back at the beginning of the room. God damn it. Oh god damn it, now I'm level 59 again. Oh no, I just lost so much progress. Uh, I just sit full screen with my face. Um, mosaic like I committed crimes. Yeah. I don't use face cam. So I figured the uh, the little talking sprite of me in the corner is like the next next best thing. I don't know if I'll ever use face cam really. I mean, inevitably, probably one day, surely. But I don't think face cam would be something I would use for every stream. Maybe just on special occasions. If I use face cam, then I actually have to. Then I'll probably get self conscious about the way I look. <laughs> Unnecessarily, though. Maybe someday, though. I'd have to hit some kind of massive milestone in order to use a face cam, though. Uh, stick with what you know. Uh, the goal is victory. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I usually just stick with the with what works. If I could have an animated version of myself, I would. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I, I never used to have an animated version of myself. It used to be just an image. Basically the exact same sprite, but just it wouldn't move. That's because my uh, my old laptop that I used for streaming was not very good. But for about a year now, I've had this laptop, which is made for streaming and gaming. So I have a little bit more power to do little animated stuff like this. So it's quite nice. I quite like it. Oh god, I've got so many Donalds! <laughs> oh, whoa. 
Wow, that was great. Go Donald. That was impressive. God, this guy's getting on my noise. There we go. Where do you go to get a nice avatar? Um, well, my sister made it. Um, Sleepy Grim, who was uh, with me on the uh, the Resident Evil stream yesterday. Uh, they're they're the artist who do did all basically most, if not all, the artwork for this channel was by them, uh, and they designed this avatar for me. Um, so you know. I, I guess I'm lucky that uh, my sister is a good artist who is willing to help me out. Um, yeah, you can kind of, like commission people for these sorts of things as well. I've commissioned an artist for a for an emote or two for Twitch. Um, so yeah, th those are ways you can do that. I don't know if you saw it. There we go. I don't know, really know how you'd go about looking for artists to ask to like get a com to commission. Um, I I just look on Twitter and Instagram and and look for digital artists that way. Here have uh, commissions opened up. That's a good way to go about it. I'll keep that in my mental um, Rolodex. <laughs> oh, my die. Oh dear, then I'm screwed. I'm never on Instagram and I don't even have a Twitter. Yeah, I use Instagram quite a lot, and it's actually where I have the most following, which is funny. Um, I don't post on Instagram too terribly often. I always post when relating to stream stuff, like if I upload a new highlight compilation, I'll usually make a post about it. And maybe some random other things. So I use Instagram a lot, just for looking at other people's posts. And as for Twitter, I don't use Twitter. I've been getting into Twitter a little bit more recently because it is quite handy. At least to me. But um, I, I don't tweet too often and maybe I should get into the habit of doing that more. Just even if it's just random thoughts in my head I could just like tweet about it. <laughs> I don't know. That's what other people seem to do. But other people make it look so easy. My tweets, are you on YouTube shorts? Yeah. Oh, cutscene. Oh, this is the one where Marluxia fights Axel. Spoiler. You have some nerve to show your treasonous face around here. Some nerve indeed. Treasonous? I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. <laughs> Why let Namine go? If Axel will be in double agent meddling, assassin turn the keyblade master to come and serve us oh right your big plan you use nominee to rewrite Sora's memory piece by little piece and he turns into her total puppet then using nominee and Sora together you and Larxene overthrow the organization am I right I would say that you are the traitor, Marluxia. Ooh, got him. When were you suspicious of us? Do either one of us have the heart to believe anyone? Uh, instead of sending out a tweet, I just make 15 so second video. Eliminated Vexen. Yeah, I do make uh, little edited clips for Twitter, actually. Now that I think about it. I, uh, I basically take a little 
if there's a if there's a live stream that I've done that doesn't necessarily warrant an entire highlight video for YouTube, I'll just take a little clip um, that I thought that I liked, and then I'd edit that and put that on Twitter. So I do that. <laughs> oh. Remember the order. Those are some of the sweetest liberty spikes of all time. I always follow orders, Marluxia. Axel's gonna kill you with his cool pizza cutters. Okay, there we go. Moving on. Okay, we still got so much left. Oh no, it never ends. <laughs> gonna be stuck in this castle <laughs> for the rest of my life. It's never gonna end. Uh, the grind is real with this one. And like, okay, I don't actually mind all that much how long and- okay, I, I mean I do. But, uh, when it comes to this section of the game being so long and grindy, uh, the Castle Oblivion world, um, I don't mind too much just playing this game myself because I usually like to just sort of zone out and do it. Uh, and just sort of go through the castle. Um, but I can't really zone out now because I'm like streaming and I have this constant like I gotta keep like I gotta keep the stream going I gotta keep chatting I gotta keep you know I gotta keep myself you know awake I can't like just zone out and do this stuff like I usually do because I'm, I'm, I'm streaming right now so I can't really do that so that kind of makes it a bit tougher for me but hey, no pain, no gain, as they say. Uh... <laughs> There's a lot of pain right now. The love-hate thing, Pixel, I totally understand you. <laughs> As much as I love Castle Oblivion, it's really cool, I like the music. God, this section is long. I'm just spamming stacks cards now. I should just come up with a good conversation topic that will help me zone out. <gasps> Holy crap, I nearly died. <sighs> Don't want to die because then I get sent back to the beginning of the room. They do so much damage. That's absurd. Just because you love something doesn't mean it doesn't <laughs> irritate the piss of you. Yeah. Is true. Yeah. Ah! Sorry, that Neo Shadow snuck up on me. They do a lot of damage though. Very intimidating. Yes, the way I feel about the Castle Oblivion section right now is about how I feel about Neo Shadows. They're really cool, but they do irritate the hell out of me in this game. Their attacks do a lot of damage and their card values are usually absurdly high. And they'll break most- like, don't even try using regular card attacks on them. Stack cards, use slates, because trying to just attack them normally with using cards on their own, it's not going to work on these guys. They, they will break them constantly. Ouch. I'm dying. At least they don't have zeros. I don't think any Heartless in this game have zeros, aside from bosses. I might be mistaken, though. But imagine if they did. God, that would be terrible. That's why I don't speedrun, I level up until I can monkey stop everything, yeah. 
I don't like being over leveled in games. A lot of people like to be really overpowered and just annihilate everything. I guess it depends on the game though. I want to be over leveled in this game because I want to obliterate everything. But in a traditional Kingdom Hearts game, I'd rather not be over leveled. Because I don't like it when, um, when it's too easy. Or when enemies die too quick. Ow. <sighs> oh, what card is that? That was a wizard card. A wizard card. Uh, let's see, what map cards am I using? I've still got so many more spaces for map cards. You want to level up to where you destroy but don't lose the challenge? Yeah. I mean, in this game, no, I have no problem with like being overleveled and just annihilating everything. That's that's great. I like that. But in, a, you, in um, other Kingdom Hearts games, I'd like to not be overleveled to where the challenge is all gone. But some people like that kind of thing. I know my sister likes doing that. They were playing Fire Emblem and they liked being crazy overleveled and just absolutely obliterating everyone but I'm sitting there thinking but that that's not fun for me it's fun for them so just interesting also I'm gonna die <sighs> I nearly died I want meant to use Trinity limit but I panicked and just spammed the triangle button oh dear Donald use cure Oh, okay, the battle's over. Different strokes for different folks. Yep, that is true. Oh dear. You sure are trying your best. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it, that was his plan all along. He was just distracting me. Donald Goofy Sora, there we go. Um, just for a minute, I would like to openly acknowledge the fact that, um, yeah, the, um, this is a pretty, um, more, uh, I guess, a chilled out stream that isn't quite as lively as the, uh, the others that I did earlier this week. Um, you know, it's not as active today, which is fine. Um, I'm not complaining or anything, because I, 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 I'm, Streaming three days in a row this week, I can't expect all three streams to be like super high energy bangers, but um, but I would like to just openly acknowledge that yes, I am aware that uh, my other two streams earlier this week were a bit more uh, lively. But again, not complaining, because it's just sort of inevitable that that would be the case sometimes. So... Oh my god, I'm so freaking terrified. I'm so close to dying. And I can't heal. Just spamming my cards. Oh. oh my god. That was horrifying. <laughs> I was so close to dying. <laughs> Ooh. 
Anyway, as I was saying, just want to openly acknowledge that, that I am aware that this stream is a bit, um, it's a, you know, lower key than the others. Um, the, um, thing is though, is that, um, I, I don't know if I, mm, if I get to, like, the final boss room, like, right before the final boss room, and, uh, that the chat is, isn't too terribly lively, then I probably wouldn't mind stopping the stream there, and then starting the next Kingdom Hearts stream with beating Marluxia, where there's the possibility that the chat might be a bit more lively. Because I think doing the final boss with a lively uh, chat would be more fun. Uh, I think that's just, you know, the, the truth there. Sorry, that's just how it is. Uh, it just would be more fun if the chat were more lively. And again, not complaining that the chat isn't lively now, because it's just kind of how things work sometimes. But, um... I think it might be a good idea to postpone the final boss until the next stream where there's a chance that the chat might be a bit more lively. Um, but we'll have to see. And I won't worry about the stream being too long because I can jump straight into Riku's story after beating Marluxia. So there's no problem there. Uh, we'll see, because uh, maybe the chat will pick up by the time I get there, but who knows. Um, again, I'm not complaining. Uh, I understand. But... Um, that's just uh, my thought. I'm just literally thinking out loud. I do really appreciate um, you sticking around here for me to chat with Anubis, though. I, I, I don't want to take uh, take you for granted at all. I, I'm, I'm really glad that you are. Uh, you just staying here, keeping me company. It is nice, especially through this ass part of the game that I'm honestly not too fond of right now. Takes time though, my streams tend to be more dead than... Oh, I'm gonna try and say that. Esperanto? I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I get so stressed out about pronunciations, especially when it comes to pronouncing people's names. So that's why if I ever say someone's username incorrectly, the first thing I'd like to make sure is just to ask, hey, did I say your name wrong? Correct me. If you, if I said your name wrong, because I don't wanna I don't wanna disrespect people's names by saying them wrong. Plus the anticipation, yes. It'd be a neat cliffhanger. Like, oh, next time is Marluxia. We'll see. Maybe the chat will pick up by then. But if not, then that's my backup plan. Give me a goofy card, please. You pronounce it correctly? Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I figured your name would be... Your name doesn't isn't, like, too hard to pronounce for me. Like, it's uh, it seems pretty clear to me. But there are some people whose usernames are a little bit more complex. Usually I get the pronunciations uh, on the money, for the most part. But it still doesn't help me feel... Um, ...worried about pronouncing them wrong. Everyone's usually super chill about it, though. Even if I do pronounce someone's name wrong, no one's ever, like, mad at me for it. It's just all in my head. <laughs> Donald Goofy. And I need... There we go. I hate how the Neo Shadows can completely bypass the uh, Trinity limit by going underground. It's so annoying. You know, there's only one of them. I could just use a little lethal frame. Bonk, 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 bonk. There we go. Esperanto was supposed to be a universal language, but it tanked? Really? Interesting. That must be quite an old thing, huh? Maybe not, I don't know. 
That's quite interesting. I didn't know about that. Wait, was that a level 5 Mega Elixir card? Well, it was. I'll, might as well take that. Wait, that was a Mega Elixir, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, I've got a ton of Moogle points. Maybe I should use a Moogle room and get some more cards soon. That might be a good idea. Oh. Uh, two become one. It says it's a 358 clear bonus, even though that Keyblade comes from KH2. <laughs> okay, let's use a Moogle room. I'm full of useless bits of info. Well, don't assume that they're all useless. Who knows, they might be more inter uh, more useful than you think. Maybe it th the knowledge you, you give me might save my life one day. You never know. <laughs> Could be talking nonsense, but, you know. But you do give me some pretty interesting nuggets of information that I wouldn't otherwise have found out about, so... You know. It's, it's quite, quite entertaining. I've actually had that happen? Oh, do tell. <laughs> Ooh, these are some good cards. Trading cards. Oh wow, that's terrible. Um, these are item cards, magic cards. I'll buy some of these. Okay, all terrible. Alright. I think I got some decent attack cards out of it though. I'm still using a zero for that? Why? Unacceptable. There we go. Uh, save one guy's life based on some throwaway stuff I knew about Venom? Wow. That sounds... Uh, concerning. I <laughs> hope everything turned out okay. Okay, I'm gonna set up another Blitz, I think. There we go. Okay, next up is the Axle fight. That's exciting. Damn it. Um. I'll use the save point room, why not? <laughs> Turned out fine. Uh, I was able to identify what he was bit by. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't be able to do something like that. Especially not under pressure. How are you able to identify that? <clears throat> My voice went a bit weird. Maverick Flare is such a cool keyblade. Mainly helped by the fact that I think Maverick is just a cool sounding word. I don't fully know what the word means, but it's a word that sounds kind of cool when you say it, so it's got that. Okay, let's fight Axel. Okay, I need a one. I don't have a one. Uh, panic. Panic. Oh, uh oh. I don't have a three either. Oh dear, that's not what you want. Okay, plan B. Let's use a roulette room and see if I can get the cards I need that way. This is why we save our roulette rooms. So I need a level 1 blue card and I need a level 3 red card. 
This is where roulette rooms really uh, save the day. I didn't know what type of spider he was bitten by, but I did, it's real weird. Hmm. Get by spider. Get superpowers. Cause that's how it works. Bonk. Oh damn it, Neo Shadows. Triple Donald. Make me proud, duck. Okay, you did make me proud. Nice one. Based off location and climate. Oh, alright. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are some useful skills. Okay, let's see. Um, I need a, a level 1 blue and a level 3 red. There don't appear to be any level 1 blues here. Um, so I'll take a level 3 red one. Oh my god, this is messing with my eyes. Uh, that one. There we go. Wait, was it a level 3 red one? Damn it, I've forgotten now. I'll go check. Yeah, it was a level 3 red. Which I now possess. Yes, I have that now. Okay, and I need a uh, one level one blue, which I do not have, so I've got to go get one. Uh, apologize, we've got to take off, got to charge off my phone because I've got to stream later. Sure, sure. Um, good luck, and thanks for chatting with me for a bit. I don't, uh, uh, I don't expect my stream will go on for too much longer. Um, I'd like to make some more progress, and then uh, if the chat doesn't pick up for a while, then I'll probably end the stream prematurely, and I can finish the game next time. Yeah. Not a problem. I always enjoy, can't wait for your next one. Oh, that's really nice to hear. Thank you very much. That's, that's really nice to hear. Um, but yes. I did three streams this week, I usually only do two, so I'll probably do two next week. Phew, there we go. Have a good one? Yeah, you too. Thanks for sticking around. Take care, and have a good rest of your day. Alright, just me. Just alone with my thoughts. Okay, I have the cards I need to open that door now. Okay, use that, uh, use that, now I need to use a collective total of 99. Great. We'll start off with the cards I don't like. God, that's such an absurdly high number. Ugh. Not gonna use any of my greens, because they're important. Oh dear. Oh, that ate up a lot of my cards. 
Oh my god. Oh, Axel. paid the price for disloyalty when she disappeared. You must do the same. Sick. The organization's betrayed. In that name, I will annihilate you. That line's not you. Well, had to try it once, you know. Hmm, that's relatable. It's pretty anime, enjoying this. No. Oh, she's so scared. Is that your shield? Won't do you any good, I'm afraid. Axel just literally shoots her. <laughs> just. Are you listening, done. Sora? Axel is literally about to just Axel throw fire at her. He's willing to harm Namine to get me. You won't let that happen, will you? Sneaky tricks. Oh come now. You're Marluxia's puppet already? After I finish you, he's next. Just grabbing her head <laughs> literally picks her up. Now, Sora. Oh, hi, TRC. Hello, Pixar. Hello. How are you today? I'd really rather not fight you. But I can't dishonor the organization, now can I? Uh oh. Okay, this fight shouldn't be hard. I rarely struggle with this one. Now, watch me do terrible now that I've said that. I should have gotten rid of my fire card and replaced it with a blizzard card. I did not think this through. Bonk, 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 bonk. Don't make me mad. Uh oh, he's got zeros. Ow, okay, I thought that I would not struggle at this fight, and it turns out that I very much am, so that's concerning. <laughs> I'm very tired, I woke up at four, gone back, I've been taking pictures and doing some drone shots all day. Oh, cool. Did you get any good shots? <laughs> uh, okay, let me edit my deck so that I get rid of the fire and I have some ice. Okay, let's try this again. Take two. This time, a little bit more prepared. I uh, got a few. I'm just gonna edit stuff together. I'll show some pictures on the Discord. Oh, cool! That'd be that'd be nice. Use your fire tooth. Go on. There we are. You fool. Oh, zeros. I should wait for him to play a card before I play one. Use your firewall. Smash. Nice. Okay, this is going way better.
Ah, that was close. Oh, Goofy Sora? No. Goofy Donald Sora. There we go. Don't use the zero. Oh my god! Man, he just freaking chucked billions of pizzas at me. Oh. Yeesh. That could have gone better. That was going pretty well for a while. I forgot that this fight actually goes on for quite a bit. It's quite lengthy. So it's mainly about endurance. Okay, use my traditional strike raid and then fatal frame. Not fatal frame, lethal frame. I keep doing that. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, he's got fire boost. Oh, I definitely don't want to get hit by his attacks then. Damn it! I couldn't use my attack because it was busy putting me in a stun lock. Oi oi oi. Nuts. Laxine paid the price for disloyalty when she disappeared. You must do the same. <laughs> Could be talking to me for all we know. Oh look, his chakrams was still spinning even when he was paused. I don't know if anyone saw that, that was funny. <laughs> Can I escape that, or is that just straight up just stunlock central? Because it doesn't seem like I can get out of that. Also, I'm just now realising that I said stunlock central. Um, massively regret that. Waiting for him to use uh, a slate so that I can block it with my strike raid. There we go. That's what we want. Don't give you some. Oh, this is a bad idea. Ah, uh, of course, yeah. In Trinity Limit during boss fights just won't work. I used it by accident. If that fire... I just need to make sure I do not get hit while that fire boost is up. Well, I just got hit. Don't use a zero, don't use a zero, don't use a zero. Crap. Well, we didn't use a zero. Okay, his fire boost is gone, he reloaded. Ah, oh, my strike rate missed. No! God! Okay, that, uh, that, that one attack is a death sentence. If he gets that attack off, then I'm screwed. Having my zeros so far back in my deck is not helping me out because it's just getting it harder for me to scroll to them. 
And I don't want to rearrange my deck because I can't be bothered. And also that's not the way I usually have it for some reason. And I don't want to change anything. Because again, it's partially just laziness. Even though switching up your deck to suit certain boss fights is, um, you know, kind of what the game wants, I guess. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> okay, I'm now seeing that, um, you know, I said, oh, this fight should not be hard. And now I'm, like, actively struggling against it. Not actively, I don't know why I said that. But I am struggling quite a lot now. Uh, I was not expecting this. This would be a lot better if you didn't have so many zeros. Yeah, sorry I'm being so quiet, it's just, I'm just trying to focus. Firetooth, is that like the insta-kill move? Okay, I need to reload. Because I have no more zeros. I can't do anything about this. The problem is you are freaking. Okay, don't zero. Damn it. I said don't zero. Thanks for the heal. You did it right. Don't zero, don't zero, don't zero. Okay, thank god. Uh, this is getting... This is getting rather, uh... Uncomfortable. Killed me for sure. Oh, please let this be it. No. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I don't remember the Axel fight giving me this much trouble before. Maybe that shows that I'm not that well equipped to handle the final boss. I don't know. Or maybe that was just bad luck. Maybe I'm a bit under leveled or something. I got Axel. Yay. Trading cards. This, but Axel's a very rare one. But Axel's a very high quality card that everyone wants. You're 
better than I thought you'd be. It was worth saving you after all. Saving me? What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, I would hate to kill the suspense. Axel! He's not dead. We all know it. <clears throat> I feel like Axel dies like three times in this series. Dies, quote unquote. Not complaining, that's just how it is. Alright. Where did he boot me off? Okay, I'm over here now. There's a save point room over there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop here. Um, I beat a boss, so that's something. That's progress. I mean, I did beat Darkseid earlier, so that was also a boss, so that's nice. But I'm probably going to stop here. Um, yeah, the chat has been kind of quiet today. That's fair enough. Again, I streamed three times this week, three days in a row. I shouldn't... There's no way that all three would be, like, crazy lively. Uh, you know, it's fine. And I don't want to beat the final boss if there's, like, no one around there to, like, see it with me. <laughs> you know? Um, so I think it's wise for me to quit while I'm ahead or otherwise. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching. I don't think there's anyone in here for me to really say goodbye to. But for anyone who's watching this, if they're lurking, or if you're watching this after the fact, thank you for watching. It was uh, very nice. This, was, this wasn't this was a bad stream by any means. I've definitely had worse. Um, you know, some streams are just uh, quieter than others. And that's true. I was fun while I was here. Yeah. Um... Because uh, my other two streams I did this week were really great. And, you know, I liked this one as well. It just wasn't as lively, but I did make progress. So, yes, wasn't able to beat Marluxia today, but I probably will on the next Kingdom Hearts stream next week, next Sunday, probably, maybe, hopefully. So, I hope anyone can join me for that. Um, anything else I want to say? No. So, yeah, next week on Friday, it'll probably be more Cuphead and... Uh, maybe probably and then definitely uh, finishing off this game or finishing off Sora's story uh, on Sunday next week that's the plan all right then so yeah I guess that will be all thank you thanks again for watching um stopping the stream now take care bye bye <laughs>